I'm late. <laughs> I'm late. And you know what's funny is <laughs> I'm I'm such a streaming noob that I, I I started I started a minute early and I and I said I, I said you know most streamers are late and and I'm early and that's very embarrassing now that I am now two minutes late so <laughs> this is the precedent I set but you know what guys uh, I I will never be late again yeah right okay <laughs> so today is kind of history it is the first avid community challenge and we have spent over a month talking about it all of these amazing amazing creators you guys will see today have put together boss fights that completely blow my mind uh hey trog how are you doing um waterflow i see you're here huey nice to see you uh everybody thank you so much for being here uh i'm a streaming noob clearly by the fact that i couldn't figure out how to uh how to start how to start the stream and go live <laughs> so i've been getting some advice from trog but guys i want to talk a little bit about what we're going to do today um how how all these things are going to come together how we're going to score people and also we're going to talk about some of those guys back there so let's get just right into it these are the mods <laughs> And they're also players on this server. They have been here since the beginning. Um, if you guys don't know, this is the deep. It's the quest that made me start everything. And these guys have been here for over a year, just working with me, building this project. And some of them are are some of my, uh, I would say, my 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 subjects uh, who who have to go through some of my adventures together. So uh, yeah, but here, so they are going to be the ones judging this competition. And the idea with this competition I had was you guys are so much better at creating <laughs> things than I am. I'm serious. I, I am. I am actually serious. So I wanted to showcase your work and just let you know, you know, you guys are amazing. And I wanted to do something for you. So there's going to be a stream that's today. And then there is going to be uh, a video that I compile together, kind of like if you were to take all of the bosses, turn them into Pokemon trading cards, um, and then reveal kind of all of their, I guess their their attacks and all that in a very cinematic way. So keep keep a lookout for the video. This stream is actually going to be posted on my second channel. If you didn't know, I, I have one. It's it's very small right now. <laughs> but anyways. Let's talk a little bit about this. So these mods here are going to be judging the contest. And there are four bits of criteria that these bosses are going to be judged on. Number one is, does it link to avid content and lore? Number two, is it beautiful? Is it absolutely gorgeous? How does it look? Number three, the mechanics and complexity. So did you invent mechanics as a part of this boss fight? And are they amazing? <laughs> yes, generally. I've, I've, I've played a couple of them. They are amazing. And finally, is the boss fair? Because, <laughs> and I said this in the beginning, you guys know I'm not good at Minecraft or, or video games. I play creative. I'm a cheater. <laughs> so, so anyways, is it fair? Now, here's the, here's the thing, is if I die to your boss two times, I'm going to cheat. Because I said, I'm a cheater. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm really, I'm just going to give myself resistance to. Uh, just, just because I want to keep the video moving. I want to just keep everything exciting. So while my mods sit back there, lounging in this pool furniture, I'm going to be getting murdered by your bosses. <laughs> Take that in for a moment. <laughs> so how the grading is going to work is each of those four criteria that I mentioned are in rows here, and the mods are going to present their votes something like this. So this will be the three mods voted on whether the boss, the very first boss, linked to my content and lore, all right? And the next couple rows, same kind of idea. Then we're gonna tally up the scores, the person with the highest score wins, and of course you get a custom role in my Discord. You get to come on the server, play a quest with me. Oh, and also the runner-ups, you get to do that too. We're gonna have some fun on this server, uh, and I'll stream that, uh, probably. <laughs> so, so anyways, this over here is our magical boss picker. And, uh, and I guess I'll pick the first one. The mods are going to pick the next ones. And uh, I'll just clear my inventory here. And let's see who's going first. Hope you guys are ready. Ooh, all right, guys. <laughs> you know what's so funny? Wither Max, you can, you guess this. 
So congrats, we are actually going to do Blackburn as our very first boss. So I'm gonna hand this one off. Dirt, thank you so much for taking that. Appreciate it. And it is time to go face Blackburn. So now is the awkward part where I disconnect. Don't mind me. Uh, scrolling down, this one. Okay, now a couple things. I've already, I've already played this one for a moment. Gotta make sure I'm in adventure mode, which means I need to open to LAN. <laughs> this is why I started them a little bit on my own, just to make sure that everything was, was set up correctly. Um, and before I start, I just wanna see if there's any comments out there. <laughs> just mostly people going, oh. <laughs> so yeah, Withermax is super good at bosses. I agree. Um, this one is really fun. I think you guys will be excited about the way that Withermax uses particles. Um, so a lot of people, I think Legit Moose has an awesome tutorial on particles. This one really showcases how you can make patterns with particles. So check that one out. I I, I, I don't want to give too much else away, but uh, but here we go. So um, yeah, let's take this first. I uh, I generally don't listen to signs. I don't I don't trust them um, in any of these boss fights. But I you know nope, and I'm not gonna do it. So I'm going to take some of this food here and a couple of apples, which are definitely going to come in handy. And this I thought was really cool is there are uh, th there's this set that gives a set bonus to the players. So let's take a quick look at some of the lore. I'm a big sucker for lore. If you guys are on my discord, I have an entire channel dedicated to lore that I think maybe 5% of you read. <laughs> so and it's OK that you don't. <laughs> but anyway, so. Let's uh, let's take a look at some of this set bonus here and see what we're looking at. So this is called the shaman set, I think, and it has the boots, the helmet, the chest plate, and it looks like what it does is it gives me a bunch of extra health as well as it heals teammates, which sat sad panda. Uh, I'm alone. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn on because I don't believe there's music. If there is music, I will uh, I will stop that. Uh, I will stop this music, but I'm going to turn on some epic music for this boss fight. So I hope you guys are ready for it. Just booting some things up. All right. So while my while pretzel comes up here, let's just jump right into it. Here we go. All right. Ooh, it's dark. I'm scared. This is so cool. I just it doesn't melt my computer. I know it would melt others. And here's our jerk. Now, my general strategy for Blackburn is to get the heck away from him, but I don't think I can. So, so I'm going to die a lot in this boss fight. There is there's a level of fairness to Blackburn that that may or may not exist. Um, my strategy has been he summons in these monsters that are going to start coming into the stage. Oh, we're done. We're done for. OK, see that guy? Yes. Now, those guys tick off Blackburn. And if I don't attack them, Blackburn's going to attack these monsters. I just need to make sure. Uh oh, uh oh. Ouch, 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 ouch. I just don't want to make too much noise. I don't want to make too much noise. Let's get a little bit of this apple on us. Now, so long as I am not the. Yes, okay, we did it. So, so long as I'm not the primary target of Blackburn, then I'm going to be able to take care of him. But the second that he's onto me, I'm basically dead. I mean, it's a warden. Like, are wardens meant to be fought? That is that is the, the fundamental question of 1.19. And I think even Mojang, Mojang has said specifically no. Like, that you're supposed to run from the warden. So the fact that there's a warden boss, <laughs> kind of tough. Um, I also maybe have some insider knowledge that he might have resistance on. So even if I attack him right now, I I, uh, I don't think it's going to do any damage. So we'll do our best. But right now, we just don't want to take any damage from him. I don't. I want to keep as many ads on the screen as possible and just let them beat each other up. So hold on a second. I'm going to start to whack at him now because I, I don't see the ads actually doing much against him. And see that he's not taking any damage right now. So I think what happens is I need to wait for that resistance to come down or he has some over health. So we'll see. But yeah, it's almost like too, me too much strategizing because at a certain point when you're fighting a warden, it's just like, OK, I guess I just accept my death. 
Now, one thing I haven't considered, and I didn't do this in my initial testing. Yeah, he has absorption hearts. Aha, okay, thank you, thank you. So I do need to get his hearts down, thank you. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Because I've, I've been trying to figure out why his health wasn't going down. So, now, the only thing, I love that you guys are kind to me, but if your boss fight is correctly balanced, then having a respawn mechanic like this makes it so that, I mean, my strategies don't necessarily matter because there's no real threat. Um, and I, but I also understand there are commandy reasons, there are fairness reasons, and so that's really challenging to make a boss fight that feels fair and also completely resets um, after, like, yeah, if you die. That's completely, totally understandable. So, anyways, <laughs> this is, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a, a little bit of just punch and Blackburn. Fortunately, he really does fight those ads quite a bit, and they fight him too. But the second, the second I lure him, you I mean that's really all, that's all it takes to get his attention, his aggro onto me. So, I gotta say a couple other things to note about this fight that I think are pretty cool. If you notice, obviously particles are being used very heavily here, which I'm a huge fan of that. There's particles, there's interesting mobs, there's sound design. If you heard that little like sploink sound, that's a particle, uh, that's the particles beneath me causing those blindness. So in my video that I'm gonna put out on Friday, I actually showcase uh, these particles a lot more. Um, so you'll see that, you'll see, you see kind of, it's like this hex pattern on the ground. Really, really cool. I love, I love that kind of stuff. So super unique. And now you guys notice, we're starting to get his, we're starting to get his health down to the point where he is a real, uh, uh, <laughs> he's, he's a real person. It's like, it reminds me of Final Fantasy. You guys ever play that game? Um, where, let's see, walk backwards diagonally and mobs can't hit me. True, but the warden can do whatever it wants. <laughs> he's got his chest burp. And it's, it is the most OP intentionally, OP uh, attack in the game because players are supposed to run from wardens, you know? So anyways, um, spam the sword, I agree completely. Um, and uh, and sorry that the stream was uh, low compression for you too. Uh, I, it looks like for me, things are good. I actually have fiber at my house. I just got fiber this month. Um, so I have a gig down and a gig up, which is just, I'm I'm in a major city too, so my internet hopefully is pretty stable. But I made sure to get that before I uh, I started this. So we are just about to get Blackburn here. I'm gonna 360 no scope him. Wha bam! I died. <laughs> Jeez, uh, that was embarrassing. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try anymore. <laughs> there we go. Come here. Hey, no, 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 no. I get the final. Did I even get the final hit on that? I don't know if I did. <laughs> All right, that was Blackburn. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's so that's so funny. So okay, let's head on back to our beautiful beach vacation getaway where our mods are having a wonderful time enjoying themselves. Looks like SB Django's over there on the water slide, and uh and and we have dirt, of course. Dirt, dirt's the kind of mod. He's just like, I'm gonna get right to work. And I love him. I love dirt. Dirt, dirt is has been a friend of mine for a very, very long time. <laughs> so um thanks for the GG's, everybody. Yeah, Blackburn's minion did get the last blow, and you know what? That's fine. That's kind of the strategy with that guy, is distract him with the minions. At least that's, that's my hope. So, hi, Dirt. Let's start voting. So, guys, did you think that that had any kind of relevance to Avid lore? Why don't you go ahead and put your votes in up top, and then we can, we can take a quick look at what they got. And actually, you know what? We'll go, we'll go down the list just so we don't take up too much time here. So why don't you guys put in your votes for all four sections, and I'll, and I'll just give thumbs up. Yes, do I agree? I agree. Okay, so we have a three from Dirt on Avid Lore. Go ahead, guys. Just put all your votes in, and I'll just read them out as you go. Uh, we got fours. Oh, wow. Okay, yep, fours, because I think the Vile Thorn monsters really helped with that, really tied it into the lore. Now, for number two, I, I lost my book. I cleared my inventory, you guys. What was I thinking? <laughs> number two was aesthetics. So we got fours for aesthetics. Now we have four, three, four, uh, that is for mechanics. And let's see, we are waiting for one last vote. Okay, and fairness. So a couple of points marked off for fairness. Remember, this is out of five, five being the best, one being the worst. So we have a pretty strong feeling for boss. So now I'm gonna go over to this little picker and let's figure out who is next. Ooh, what's it gonna be? Oh, we have Shadow from Brazoza. Hope you guys are ready. Mods, take it away. I'll see you on the other side. Enjoy your, your time over here. Love you very much. Bye.
Okay, so we are going to head over to Shadow with Brazoza. <laughs> I hope I said Brazoza correctly, because uh, <laughs> I'm seeing some comments that say I'm not. So, <laughs> okay. First impressions, just wow. Like, first impressions, honestly, beautiful, beautiful. Um, shoot with a bow to continue. These are some mechanics that I do not understand. I, I work with command blocks, so all I'm seeing right now is my hunger bar is gone, and somehow I have this bow that is not only backwards in my hand, which is probably a resource pack, but it shoots arrows just with a single click. So I, I don't understand how that works, and many of you, all of you who are smarter than me probably are like, well, geez, Avid, obviously this is how, this is how it works, but I don't. <laughs> so, okay. So let's head on over to, I believe, this temple over here. And just remark, I mean, the trees, the the way that this whole area, entrance area works is stunning. It is so clear how much time and energy you put into this. Like, wow, just, just unbelievable, okay? So I love this temple. I love the use of the new blocks. I think they look so good. It's a, such a nice accent. And you guys, I'm get I actually just got a little chill. I swear to you. I'm not even just embellishing. Like this is such a cool arena. And when I started when I started playing with this arena at first, I was like a little confused. Because I just figured uh you're just you're just running around, you know, what am I supposed to get up there? What the heck is that thing, right? But then it turns out these things, if I press space, if I press space, <laughs> You get launched. It is a parkour arena. And these slime walls allow you to get even further height and ricochet you off of them. So like, here's one of my favorite, my in, in this whole arena, one of my favorite ones is this one across the center. So you kind of go like this. Booyah! <laughs> it's so cool. The mobility of this boss is just unbelievable. Um, yeah, uh, photosynthesis machine to create. Uh, yes, a bre of course. Thank you, Funny Bee. I think that's exactly what it is. Is there some kind of machine to create a ble breathalyzer to replace the hunger arrows? Um, <laughs> so, okay. It took me a while the first time, but it turns out that's our boss. And uh, let's take a quick peek at him before he gets all angry at us. Oh, I fell. We'll take a peek at him from down here. It is an eyeball with teeth. Yep. And all you got to do is make him angry. Now, I talked to you guys a bit. There he is, Shadow the Unimaginable. <laughs> I, I talked to you guys a little bit about, um, you know, boss fairness and death mechanics. And this one takes a completely different approach to it, which I think is is very smart. So the way that uh, Brizoza did this is they, they made it so that there are kind of these checkpoints in the boss where if you die, the boss just regains its health back to that le that level that you uh, you started at the checkpoint. So once I get him down to the next phase, which is any moment here now, he's, things are about to get a lot crazier. Right now it's quite tame. I also love doing that. You just kind of like jump off the wall and you're able to kind of like jump up and over him and fire a couple shots into his giant eyeball face, which I think is so cool. Um, so we're gonna get to the uh, second, second phase here in a moment. And the second phase, there is a there is a, a, a lunge attack. So you get these purple particles, and the way you do this, simple uh, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, actually probably more, more Dark Souls strategies, which is that you just keep uh, uh, lunging to the left or to the right. So that's all I really have to do now with this guy is I'm just gonna keep kind of maneuvering to the left, getting his health down, getting my health down, and now we have gone on to the, the stage of deep unfairness. <laughs> Because, and, and Brazoza, by the way, this is an amazing boss. I'm just more just, it's hard to even nitpick. Um, these bubbles are like impossible to escape. Maybe there's something I don't, I don't know. Um, but basically, once the bubbles are on me, it's it's guaranteed that I'm going to take damage. Um, so maybe, maybe that's something I, I'm not sure. Maybe I, I haven't figured out yet. Um, also, we get these like particle uh, wisps that come towards us and they, they're they really cool. Uh, if they hit any walls or they hit the player, they explode, which I just think is really, really neat. So with this phase, uh, it's 
Unfortunately, a little bit of luck, I think, in that how much damage I take from the bubble beam. Um, unless there's ways for me to escape the bubble beam, basically it's, it's guaranteed gonna kill me. Um, so, yeah. So, so what I'm gonna have to do, I think, is I'm gonna try, I, I count these as deaths, by the way. I'm gonna try to get at least get him down to the next phase, because if I can get through the next phase, then I can, uh, I can beat the phase after that. The final phase, however, is, uh, I, I cannot beat. <laughs> I have tried, I have tried so many times to beat the final phase, so, so just keep that in mind. But, guys, seriously, for those of you who don't make data packs and who don't make resource packs, can you believe that this is just a Minecraft data pack? There's a resource pack, there's a data pack. Like, this eyeball boss that has some level of AI, I have no idea how you did it, has random attacks that come out, like, all of that, to me, completely blows my mind. I, I've i never done anything like this. Um, have I tried walking out of the way of the rays? There, the question is, what, what constitutes out of the way? Because I looked at this in slow-mo using replay mod, and those rays, they follow you. They follow you like a hawk. So what I'm gonna do here, I, I am sorry. I remember, like I said, I'm a cheaty. I'm not doing game mode though. Uh, effect me, um, resistance. We're gonna go for thousand seconds of resistance too. I'm sorry for cheating. I love you all. I'm so sorry. I already said it when I started this stream. I'm a cheater because I play creative mode. Um, so, <laughs> so anyways, this boss, I think you've seen, you know, a lot of the mechanics, but things get really interesting. So let's get him down or her. Actually, I, in my video when I was shooting this, I envisioned this boss as a her. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> and so take it as you is, uh, as it, as it is. So yeah, resistance. Um, can you shoot the blue rays? That's a good question. Let's try. I don't think you can shoot the particles. And I don't know if, uh, if Brizoza's here to, to discuss it a little bit. So I'm, I'm not sure. But I have not been able to. Um, yeah, res to... Yeah. Minecraft is bald. <laughs> what is that? Um, okay, so he's on to the next phase now, which I personally, I really like this phase. But if you notice... There's, there's one thing I had to do with this boss, which is just be super careful when you use the nausea effect. Um, and this was also something in the Blackburn boss. Nausea, for me at least, like actually legitimately makes me feel, makes me feel nauseous. <laughs> and so I turned down, uh, I turned down some of the nausea effect. Uh, so actually what's kind of cool is it's an accessibility setting. So Minecraft will put green around the screen like that. Um, and so that that is uh, kind of simulating nausea for me now. There's a little bit of wiggle there, but not a lot. And so nausea is just kind of like, it's it's a lot for me. <laughs> it's, and I bet you for the stream as well, when there's like all that wonderful YouTube compression going on. Yeah, funny bee, I agree, like nausea. So this is the phase that uh, that basically turns the every single knob <laughs> onto a thousand. <laughs> like. I, I actually did get to this to this phase. Um, <laughs> you know, here, I won't spin too much. I know you guys are probably getting sick, so I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I won't spin anymore. <laughs> sorry. Hey! Yeah, this boss actually did make me nauseous, but honestly, just complete and total amazement from me. Just the level of talent on the mechanics, the design, just seriously unbelievable. Like. I think if there was a way to heal, um, and, and this is something I've seen a lot of boss fights, is there's no real way to heal, even with food or something. And if there was a way to kind of, one, not have the nausea, two, is have some way to defeat those bubble beams, um, I think that would have been ah, just chef's kiss. And it already was, so I'm just nitpicking. Like, that was super awesome. So let's go talk to the mods and see what they have in store for Brizoza and Shadow. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get a little bit of water. Hmm. Okay, mods, I'm back. And it's, uh, I'm in the future because there's a YouTube delay, so. Guys, what, oh, we are, oh, thank you so much for putting the votes up there. I think that makes a lot of sense. What, wait. Oh, okay, all right, yep, all right, I'm understanding. So, in as it pertains to Avid lore, the mods across the board have given it a two, and that's fair. That is, that is absolutely fair. I, I agree, I agree. But in terms of the aesthetics, we have fives across the board and fives on mechanics, which I completely agree with. Yes, so good, so, so good. 
Um, so seriously, well done. And then the last one, gosh, I can't believe I threw my book away. The la the, I'm gonna remember it though. The last one was Fairness. And I agree, I think in D Dirt, especially, I think gave the mark of the two, just because it's really, I think if you added a few more mechanics to defeat parts of the boss, totally would make, would make uh, you know, that I think that those would all go to a five. So without further ado, who's ready for number three? Ooh, Talos. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this submission. This submission was done in Minecraft Bedrock. So what that means is I can't really play it on YouTube. So while the, but I have asked the mods to watch this ahead of time, and I have also watched it ahead of time. So I am, I am going to act out the boss while the mods put their, <laughs> while the mods put their, uh, their points on the board. Um, I was going to show it in YouTube, but I'm not really sure how YouTube's going to handle the whole copyright thing if I'm showing somebody else's channel. So. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna do a little bit of uh, uh, of a role play while the mods put their scores in the background. So, player enters, lights flickering up above in the room, and there is a an announcement over the intercom. Sounds so, something like this. Hello, there, we are in danger. There is there is a monster, and we need to d d defeat the the monster in the room. Okay, end scene. Player enters. Oh, the votes are already in. Oh, thank you for the book. <laughs> and then the player enters the room. There is a giant monkey skeleton thing in the middle of the room, a mecha monkey. And there are ships that are flowing back and forth. Player has to jump over the ships, parkour up the side of the monkey's arm, defeat the monkey. Mods, if you could please cast your votes. <laughs> and, and again, Bedrock submissions. I definitely had to think a little bit about how those work. <laughs> so, you know, thanks. Thank you for your patience on that one. But uh, yeah, definitely have to think about that one. So Maz, yep, please put your votes up there after you've uh, watched the video. And I'm going to start on the next one. Every single one of these after that is Java. These are all Java. We are playing all of these. So here we go. Oh, and by my excitement right now. Oh, and I should say uh, the the boss is in the um is in is in the description of this video uh in fact everybody who has submitted uh a a boss their channels are linked down below and they are honestly amazing you guys like you need to check all these people out but this one here i i'm excited so you guys waterflow he's a friend of mine uh and he's on this server every now and then and and i'm just so excited to show you guys this boss so here we go Uh, da, 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 da. Now, this boss was created as a sort of fan-made ending to the Shrouded Isles, which is my adventure map. And uh, and yes, and Sky Knight, I know what you're saying about the last one. YouTube doesn't copyright me. The owner decides to copyright me. I trust my viewers, but if YouTube were to say, hey, if you want to, you know, take this video down or monetize it, you can. And so I just wanted to be super careful on that. But anyways, guys... This boss, I just, just hold on to your pants. Keep, keep your pants on. Because this, if you jump out of your pants, I understand. Let's, enough build up. We got a sword here sticking into the ground. Got a couple of instructions as well. There's a pretty cool soundtrack behind the whole thing. And there are some cool mechanics. So I hope you guys are ready. We have the Sheep of Doom here. If you guys have seen my video on the execute command. Um, and... Relic, you said you made uh, catacombs uh, of your own Bedrock Edition. That's so cool. Well, hey, yeah, guys, definitely uh, check out Relic there. If they have made something that's similar to Avid Lore, I love it. So thank you so much for, uh, for mentioning that. Okay, I'm about ready to press this button, but this boss has some dialogue. So I'm, I'm going to try to do some stuff here. I hope it works correctly. Um, so bear with me. I have a stream deck. Here, you'll need these. That one's Latrius. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with my lore, Latrius is kind of a good guy, but he's kind of, I don't know. I, I don't trust him. No. If you guys can't guess, uh, that is the old one. And, uh, it, well, that's what the name said. And he's a bad guy. <laughs> so I have a couple things in my inventory. I have the Ascended Longsword of Light. Uh, a couple of Lightbound Flasks, which give me speed three. A couple of Stakes, which is nice so I can heal. They, they, uh... There's 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 parts of this fight where, where they don't they don't help too much, <laughs> but we're going to we're going to give it a shot. And uh, and I hope you guys are ready. This door here. Here we go. Oh, 
I'm also gonna take this off. Here we go. <gasps> this view makes me so happy. I see a no from Waterflow, so the fact that I took off my crossbow maybe makes me think that it's possible I don't do that. But here, here we go. Here we go, guys. Gonna take a sip of water and just look around you. Just look around you. In this death hole, that is death. I have confirmed that is that is a, a hole of death. Um, <laughs> yeah, enchanted steak, uh, world painter. I mean, I can't. Comp I could never possibly compete with something like this if I'm placing blocks by hand. But guys, just wait for what comes out of this door. But first, we have a chat. You're finally here now. I know we have our differences, but hear me out. The Society of Old tried to imprison me not a while ago. They opened a portal to another dimension and they threw me in. It wasn't hard to escape though, but they opened a portal to the wrong dimension. I tried to warn them, but they didn't listen. They opened a gateway to a dimension that should have been long forgotten. A dimension that keeps him sealed away. Who's... who's him? He... He has no name. All I can tell you is that he's the one true god of this realm. The creator. With the realm, he created the two essences that hold a large chunk of this power in them. I, I think I said that wrong. Back to where I left off. He was not satisfied with the realm. He wanted to destroy it and create it again. But before he could do it, he was sealed away in a dimension that was long forgotten. Until now, that is. I would strongly recommend you flee. I can't flee. I'm stuck. Everything is doomed. No one can overpower him. No, he found the portal. I'm getting out of here. It's not generally not a good sign when he when the old one runs away, because the old one is the only one uh, who can defeat this guy. I'm pretty sure I don't have much of a much of a chance so the music starting i'm a little scared hang on a second uh more music i will turn up uh let's see i believe that's ambient we'll give it 35 how about the nameless one primordial overlord and this literally gives me chills this is this is a data pack, right? I mean, this is unbelievable. This is genuinely, genuinely unbelievable. Like, I'm not even fighting right now because I'm just gawking at how amazing this boss is. So I have a couple of strategies. I have I have never been able to beat this boss legit. Um, but I will tell you what my strategy, my my one strategy at least is for the beginning, and it's it's a it's a shoo-in. So basically, I run away. <laughs> no, don't push me into the hole of death. Okay. So once I can get out here, I need to take some Dark Souls strategies. He likes to coil around the player, so I apologize for anybody who gets a little bit motion sick. But basically, this is the strat: is he coils and he coils, and I sit behind his neck. And I can just whack away at that weak spot on him. And there we go. That's already phase one. So the next thing that happens is these guys spawn in. And these guys are uh, are not too tough. But there's a surprise. I think they're a distraction. Um, it's because in a moment here. Yes. Okay. There's a crystal that we have to break. I don't know what happens if we don't break that crystal. Waterflow, you can tell people in the chat um, what happens. Because I've, I've always broken that crystal. Now, the next thing that happens is he is firing at us from at the top of the stage. I mean, look at this guy, guys. This is a data pack. And there is a snake firing withering projectiles at me while circling this magnificent stage. I mean, honestly, it is like it's hard to believe, right? So I don't want to get withered. So I'm going to try to move as much as I can. But also this guy is uh, is pretty tough. So if he hits you, he really withers you. Fortunately, um, I have a dash attack that kind of helps me get away, but I am getting low on hearts. I'm getting low on hearts. No, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, right? I don't want to use my my uh, my flasks yet because there's a part of this fight 
that is just brutal. It's just totally brutal. Um, and, and I know it's just gonna happen. No potions. No potions. I, I'm the kind of person who plays, who plays a game like, uh, like Zelda. And, and I don't, I don't use any of my potions. I, I will never ever use them until like, until I die. And then I'll be like, oh man, I really wish I used that potion. So, all right. This guy here, basic strats, walk backwards, whack him a bunch. Eventually he dies. So here we go. Keep whacking him. Keep whacking him. No damage run. Yeah. Uh, look, I say I play Dark Souls. I don't play Dark Souls like that. <laughs> no way. I am not, uh, I'm not dedicated enough, but I do, I do admire Dark Souls a heck of a lot. So, it, because, so Dark Souls has influenced me as, as much as possible when it comes to making my adventures. Um, from the way that lore, I, I talk about lore a lot. You know, you guys know me in Discord. <laughs> Whack a bunch, yeah, miss a bunch. Whack a bunch, miss a bunch. That's basically how it goes. You guys know me, um, I'm a huge lore guy. And so <laughs> Dark Souls, I think does something really brilliant with lore. And uh, some of you guys will probably uh, call me out on this not being 100% true, but from what I understand, uh, Miyazaki, I think that's the name, the person who kind of, oh, I got a, I got a flask. I did it, I used it. See, I told you, I, I'll use it when it makes sense. Um, he, did, he wasn't able to read, I think, for a long time in life, or maybe was really interested in books like very early on in life. And so the way that uh, this person kind of came up with lore for Dark Souls it is is how they used to consume um, like fiction material as a kid because since they couldn't fully read they kind of just filled in the blanks with their own imagination and so i know this is a really long way of just saying to like you you say less and you do more i feel like something is off yeah now we're on the next phase but i just want to finish that that statement with just saying that yeah it, you say less you do more <clears throat> um if you have to use the bathroom don't hold it that's not good for you <laughs> just just saying consider consider using the bathroom um <laughs> but yeah lore is always really challenging and and what i tend to do is i try to come up with lore first because what it does is it it gives you kind of a point to shoot for you know you're like okay i want this boss to be able to be a giant snake that is the creator of the universe right that's where you start with your lore and then you figure out how to make it work in Minecraft. Um, <laughs> carry the device to the bathroom. I'm picturing somebody carrying an entire desktop computer with them to the bathroom right now. Um, so yeah, that's, <laughs> uh oh, okay, this is bad. I know this now. Gotta get out, gotta get out, gotta get out, gotta get out. Woo, okay. This is what I, <clears throat> I called the dark tornado. What happens is, in Waterflow probably has a better name, um, but basically it sucks you into the center of the map, like that, and it deals insane, in, I'm talking absolutely insane damage. Oh no, okay, this is where I'll die. This is where I'll die. So, you can't see them, it's a little hard to see them, but there are these knives made of particles that fall from the sky, and this is the point where I switch over to the crossbow. These knives will poison you and, oh God, and they will, they will slow you so much that you're basically stuck in place. The good thing with Minecraft slowness is you can still jump. So that's what I've found is a way to get away from that. But honestly, right now, I'm just trying to get like some breathing room. Okay, old Betsy, baby. First fire. So like that kind of breaks my strategy. Dang it, ouch. Okay, okay. Come on, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is not looking good. This is not looking good. <laughs> All I'm down to is steak now. I need some breathing room. Dang. I need some breathing room. Come on. Let me have a little bit. Let me have a little bit. Okay, and it brings you back to the center, so there's really no escaping. These are tough. I did it. <laughs> I cheated, but I did it in a good and smart way. Regeneration. I didn't mean regeneration. I meant resistance. Dang it. Okay, I'm going to try again. I'm going to try again because I don't, I think the cadence of this right now is really good. Oh, oh, I thought I was about to die. Okay, hang on. We'll do another regen. Don't, don't be mad at me, chat. 
Don't be mad at me. I'm sorry. I just I I favor the content over the fairness. That's why I play creative mode. I like the endorphins. So this is the part where you might start to feel nauseous, and I and I apologize greatly for that. Um, I think what I'm gonna do because the zoom from the uh, from the slowness effect is just it just overwhelms, it just completely overwhelms me. So okay. Whew, I'm actually sweating, like legitimately, uh, legitimately sweating. <laughs> so, okay, got him down, decent amount. I think the sword is probably the best way to get his health down, unless water flow, you have any, run, run, he says, run. Why would I run? Avid run. I, I, you know what's funny? YouTube, uh, YouTube is so delayed. I'm sure you had, you had a good reason to tell me that. <laughs> Okay, come on, whack him. Get some crits on him. Knock the bow. Get a couple more shots in him. I'm in, I'm just gonna get in his neck. I'm in. It's going down, we're getting him down. Crits, sorry, sorry stream. We're fighting a god. This is what fighting a god looks like. It makes you nauseous. <laughs> it does, genuinely. Uh, okay, all right, I'm gonna try to get out of here again. Oh my goodness. So I would say that's at about a quarter, maybe a fifth health. Um, and this is the final phase as far as I know. There might be one more attack, which um, is it's uh, this like beam of light. So we'll see if we get to that. So be ready, be ready. But here we go. Oh my gosh, I threw my sword. I hit Q. <laughs> it's too easy to do that. Uh, okay, I got another shot on him, I think. We're getting that health down, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like, I feel like I'm stuck, I am. <laughs> Noodles, you gotta go to the bathroom, dude. Come on. You gotta go to the bathroom. Now, this isn't something that I've really discussed with the creators of these fights yet, but um, what I want to say is, you know, if you guys are interested in, uh, in playing these bosses, I'm gonna leave it up to them, but they are totally free, 100%, to post these, you know, they, they deserve the credit of how amazing these boss fights are. Uh, love your channel. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Beyblade. I love Beyblades. Um, I used to have a bunch of them. Okay, oh, this is a moment. Uh, he says... The round goes down with me. Thank you. And I go, the realm? What do you... What does he mean, the realm? What is that? And, and we'll find out. But the realm... I mean, we, we talked about this. Lore. So important. So important, right? And what what Waterflow has done with this boss is introduce a little bit of lore. I mean, obviously there's so much avid lore in here from the old one saying that the society was trying to imprison him, um, which is true. Um, you know, we haven't talked a lot about that, but on my Discord, there's this whole lore channel where I get totally geeky about it. But, you know, he, this guy, we, if we learned, if you saw from the beginning, they said that reality was tied to his very existence. And not only that, but he created all of reality and he didn't like it, so he wanted to destroy it, right? He wasn't happy with his creation. Well, tough luck, man, that's reality. So, okay, here we go. I've practiced this part. These are the light beams I was talking about, by the way. Absolutely just stunning. Like, I hope the mods right now are just like, just blown away. All right, last shot is gonna be a bolt to the neck. Here we go, you guys ready? I wanna get back a little bit, here we go. Eat it, Shadow Nameless, sorry. Eat it, Nameless. yee And just when we think we won, what happens now? Everything turns dark, and we wonder... Are you satisfied now? Satisfied? Satisfied with what? He said it clearly. The realm, it, it, the realm, it. The realm goes down with him. The realm goes down with him. That's it. I have, I have legit goosebumps. I have legit goosebumps. Thank you, thank you. What did you guys think of my voice of the universe? We have some votes in. Some people have not yet decided on, ooh, 
on the last one. Wow, 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 wow. Whoa, Brit. Dirt is tough, guys. Dirt is tough, but but fair. We have we have some fireworks from Event Horizon. Uh, guys, I am honestly, yes, I agree with these. So five on Avid Lore. I mean, here, I'll get myself on the screen. Five on Avid Lore across the board, definitely. Um, oh, we have, oh, somebody put signs up for me. Thank you so much. That's so smart. Aesthetics, four, five, four, agreed. Five, five, five in terms of the mechanics, agreed. Balance was a little tough. I only had to cheat a little bit, but yeah, guys, I... I'm super, I'm super excited about that. That one, that's gonna be tough to beat. But believe it or not, there are some contenders coming up that might. So let's click on the next one. What's this? Oh, those are some of the ones. Mods, you guys are awesome. You guys are the best. Okay, next one. Ooh, and remember how I said I think there could be some contenders that beat that last one? Well, this. This one might. This one just might. So I'm gonna get a sip of water here. Mm. Okay. So we are gonna go fight Vile Thorn. Here we go. Do 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 do. Oh, don't get DCMA'd. Uh, okay, Vile Thorn. It's this one. I love that cool text too, and I love the custom icon. People who have been doing custom sprites, a lot of love for that. Um, that is, that is just, you guys, you guys are amazing. You guys are genuinely, genuinely amazing. So let's begin. And first let's gawk at some of the beautiful aesthetics just in this little starting area. I mean, just the little touches, just awesome. Okay. So stay hydrated. I agree. Thank you. Um, yeah, you guys, seriously, like all the people who have gone so far are amazing. You Everyone in chat, like, give them, you know, they're in, a lot of the people who have competed are in chat right now, so definitely, you know, s tell them how much, how much you like their fight. I definitely am. I'm super, super impressed. Um, so, here we go. This is beautiful. I don't, I, I love how the light comes through here. I just absolutely love the little touches. It feels like I'm entering, it's kind of funny, um, there's a bit of lore that I've hidden from, I, I didn't publish this in a video. I was too embarrassed. I just thought it dragged on. But basically, if you guys remember, I, I had an old skin and it was an Enderman. Well, the, the lore is that I was exploring an ancient uh, temple like this, something that looked almost exactly like this in my head. And uh, and I, I was cursed. Um, and that's why I looked like an Enderman for so long. <laughs> so let's uh, we'll, we'll just we'll just say that's the lore. So here's a really cool touch. You guys missed it. I, I didn't showcase it, but watch this. Ba-boom! And you hear that? Ah! I love that so much! Like, geez, that is such a cool touch. Just to make, just to make it feel like you're about to just approach something that is terrifying. Um, so here we go. Speaking of terrifying. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch over here for a second. In a moment here when there's dialogue, I have to switch over. And apologies if I get the dialogue wrong, I, I'm kind of ad-libbing. Here we go. Hello, adventurer. Oh. You must be very brave to have come this far. But your journey ends here. I invoke the ancient protection of the gods. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> so Vilethorn is like this Spartan, basically, is what I'm gathering. That's always on fire. And this is a really cool attack. So, a couple. These these magma cubes that get thrown on the ground. There's this blade that he throws in the air. I have no idea how you managed this. But yeah, it's so cool. This blade just like flies through the air and I am withered. That's not good. But yeah, so some flame attacks. Like, this boss has, I think, I wanna say six or seven different attacks. That come in uh, that come in different uh, at different phases. Also, fortunately, and I know this ahead of time, so I'm not going to cheat. This boss is a quote-unquote safe boss, as you can see there. <laughs> so I don't have to cheat. Thank you for making my life easy. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, this one is super cool just because of all of the little mechanics that go into it. I can only imagine making an AI. I put that kind of in quotes, but like making an AI 
it must take so much time randomizing the move set um getting you know getting down the balance right and all that now i'll talk a little bit about my strategy um when vilethorn throws these knives it's the perfect time to just strafe you just strafe when he does that sometimes you can get underneath him because those magma blocks uh they they fall away from him so you just get kind of get right under him like that but then you have to be careful because he'll fall right on your face so <laughs> so we're just a about, I think we're going to get to the second phase in a moment. And you'll notice that I have these potions in my inventory, which I haven't talked about yet. So these potions, which the lore text is huge, um, they were given to uh, us by the Sheep of Doom, and they are slow falling potions. And this is really important because this fight, what it does is it uses verticality to its advantage. So you see kind of the, the stage is pretty tall. Well, Vilethorn has got a trick up his sleeve that makes you want to use those potions because the amount of damage absolutely massive if you don't um so again you know i love the fact that this boss one the design is brilliant i think just from the aesthetics alone and mods i'm not trying to i'm not you know trying to influence you in any way but the aesthetics alone are brilliant um and i think the the mob itself you know i mean i know a lot of people made custom models which is this is the best I could ever do. Um, and the reason is because I don't know how to do any of that custom modeling stuff. I don't do resource packs. I don't do data packs. Um, okay, I think we're on to the second phase. Yes, there, this one. Can I get it in time? Ow, no, <laughs> is the answer. So yeah, so we're on to the second phase now, which is just about, I got Sheep's Potion. I'm fast, I did it. Um, so yeah, I can't do custom models. So this custom model here, or this is as far as I could go. So uh, no influencing will not give in to avid pressure. Thank you, Dirt. Uh, as always, you are the you are my rock, um, and I appreciate you greatly. So uh, I got a drink, 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 drink. Yes, I got it in time. Now the problem with uh, having slow falling, I believe, yeah, you can't crit with slow falling, as far as I know. So, uh, oh, I had it left over from the last one. Um, so that kind of slows down the fight. Part of me is like, well, if I can, if I can just, you know, die a million times and just crit instead of using slow fall, maybe I will. And so that's something to consider as, you know, as a boss maker is maybe there's a way, I don't know, like to deal damage if you, if you counter that. Think about um, if you guys have played Sekiro, uh, Shadows Die Twice, um, in that one, the idea uh, there are these there are these lightning attacks that um, if you jump into the air and then hit the attack at the right time, um, what happens is you actually reflect that lightning back onto the boss. Maybe if I had slow falling on, I could like do a counter attack onto this guy here. Maybe something something to think about. Just you know, in general, I think though this the fight is really good and I do think that there are a lot of really interesting mechanics that I'm definitely gonna steal. I know I can think about all the ways that I'm definitely gonna steal this one. So, all right, we're getting him down here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, speed this up just slightly. Give me strength. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> just, Just to speed some things up. Oh no, did I break it? I think I broke it. But I will tell you this, I have finished this one and it does uh, it does end without any dialogue or anything like that. And you will see that in my video coming out Friday. So seriously, seriously, well done. Sorry, Malkin, I'm sorry. Oh, that's right, I missed the Spartan Nova. Ah, uh, all right. You guys are gonna have to check it out in my video. <laughs> sorry, cheaties. Sorry, I'm sorry. I play creative mode. I cheat. And our mods are back here. I hope they've had a nice time on their flamingos and enjoying everything, guys. You, you're looking great. You're looking tan, dirt. You're uh, you gotta get you gotta get that that green face checked out. Okay, so we have a couple of votes in now. In terms of Avid Lore, 4, 4, and 3, I would agree the name was Vilethorn. I didn't really get a lot of other sense of the tie, tie into the Avid Lore, so I agree with that. In terms of the aesthetics, yeah, 4s across the board I think is fair. I would say a 5, just because I thought a lot of work went into that boss design. 
Totally fives across the board for mechanics. And then in terms of the, oh my gosh, I forget every single time because I don't read my dumb book. Boss Fairness and Balance, they gave it 4 3 3. And I would agree. And I think the challenge is one, is I do rely on that, you know, dying mechanic. And I died quite quite a few times. And the, the second thing is, um, you know, there's no real way to heal. Unless I unless I didn't find it. So <laughs> thank you so much, Malkin, for your submission. And guys, I promise you, I'm sorry I cheated at the end. You'll watch it in my video. You'll see the entire fight. I showcase every single move set. But I do want to keep this uh, just, you know, to a normal schedule just because I know my mods are, are, are they're here for free. I, I'm not paying them. So, <laughs> okay. Let's check what next one is. Oh, this one is Babertus. By Red. Red Dust 9. Yes, okay. So, thank you, mods. I, I love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and we are going to head on over to Bobertus. Um, and that one is here. Oh, I forgot the resource pack. Hold on a second. Uh, resource packs. Uh, this one. Okay, I like this one because there's a little bit of humor. Um, I do need to set myself into adventure mode and I'm low on health. I start low on health. I'm not sure if that's an intended mechanic, <laughs> but okay. So this one we have a uh, Bobbert update my iris. I'm not going to update my iris. You update my iris. This guy here, his name uh, is Bobbert and he has a certificate of bartending from the totally real Bertanding Institute. Uh, so that's that one's interesting. Um, and uh, and he has a drink here. Absolutely, you know, refreshing, wonderful. Can't wait to. It's poison. Bobbert, are you serious? You're going to give me poison? Come on, man. Oi, traveler, how are you doing? I made a nice, refreshing drink in case anyone stopped by. Sorry uh, if anyone is British or Scottish or whatever I'm doing here. Uh, anyways, what? You don't like it? I'll have something special for you if you come back later. Okay, uh, Bob Bobbert, that seems not, not very, I'm scared. <laughs> so we head outside here and, uh, and you know, nothing, nothing really. I, I noticed this and I'm, I'm a little confused. At first I thought that's where the arena was going to be. Um, and I'm going to play this one fairly. I promise my hand is up in the air, up in the air. Hey, Zoe, by the way, nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> um so the only reason in red dust is probably like where are you going like where are you going why are you going that way well you started me off with like half half health and i'm hungry so turns out in this village over here this is the only chest that has a loot table and there's some bread and some potatoes so thank you <laughs> I, at first i was like i i thought this village might have been part of the boss fight turns out if we head back to our boss i tried to update the world it's okay it's okay but i found some bread and i found some potatoes and they actually do come in handy um so we come back here and it also gives us time to uh to let this happen and look at this it's just like vile thorn right so you guys have if you see my video village transforms at night you know all the all that kind of cool stuff this is the same kind of concept, and I think that's super cool that you took that into this. Um, and I, I'm sure you use structure blocks or something like that. Super curious, you know, how you actually did it. But yeah, I, I love it. I love it. So we head in here. You know, we're going to get our drink that's not poison, right? Also, imagine if I drank that poison. I would have had, like, no health, right? <laughs> so, okay. So we're going to head to the tavern. And he said I could come back later. Even TripAdvisor said this place was good. But... Okay. Uh, see you, Wither Max. Take you later. Check you later. Take you later. <laughs> okay. So we head down here, and I'm going to switch over to something, and then I will be quiet for a moment. So you found my secret. I guess I couldn't fool someone like you. Maybe we can work together. Absolutely not. So you have chosen death. <laughs> ah! <laughs> hopefully that's working for you guys by the way switching uh between voice mods i have not tested that at all so okay 
All right, so we have some beautiful sound here playing in the background. I love that soundtrack. I forget which one it actually is. Um, but Burtis is kind of hanging out up there. Um, Red Dust, I want to let you know the first time... Oh, sorry, Withermax, you are staying. Okay, maybe I missed whoever said they were leaving. Red Dust, I played this the first time, and uh, and I I killed Babertus. I, I I could I can kill him. <laughs> so that's just the one thing I thought was funny, and I thought I totally um, I thought I totally messed up the fight. Fortunately, uh, everything was okay. Um, this is really more of what I would call an environmental fight, and Babertus is just kind of there. And this is a lot like my evil AI boss fight. Not in sense of mechanics, but in the sense of, um, you know, it's not necessarily about fighting the boss itself, but pressing buttons that kind of disable or delete the boss. So I think that's that's pretty cool. And I'm, I'm pretty, overall, I thought this one was really fun. I found an unintended mechanic that actually makes it even more fun, which I'm gonna show you. Oh. No matter, I have another trick up my sleeve. I see pipes, ah, my hand was off the keyboard. Dang it, I got hit. Okay. So this next part of the fight might kill me, and uh, and that's okay. Um, th but basically, you get the zombies to bunch up, and provided it doesn't kill me, I'm gonna give myself resistance and cheat because that's what I do. I did not have time. <laughs> Dang it! Um, if I go into spectator, there's a little, there's some hitching there too. I'm not sure what's going on there. Can I fight him again? Is the question. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself resistance this time. That those baby zombies are total jerk butts, by the way. <laughs> yes, they got me. Sus! I agree! SP Django! Love my mods. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try to do one more legit. Like I said, you know, I'll try three times um, and do it legit. I guess I didn't do that on the last one, but I I promise you guys I will I will hold myself to that standard for the rest of these prob probably. Probably not. <laughs> so, okay, we're back at him. We're gonna take these guys out. Just run, you whack them, you run, you whack them. About as standard as it gets. Let me see if I can get maybe like four shot in that little. You know, uh, when I was playing this the other day, it kind of reminded me, any StarCraft II players out there? Um, you lost your hardcore world to a baby zombie? Oh man, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. They are the hardest mob in the game because they're just so fast and they're so little, the hitbox. Um, but yeah, if any of you have ever played StarCraft 2, you'll know uh, this. So if you've ever had like an army and you're trying to, um, you know, there are ones in the front that are getting attacked. Like you have an army of, uh, oh gosh, it's been so long. I'm not going to say Zerglings. I'm going to say Striders with Protoss. Um, and you kind of like micromanage them so that the ones that are getting most hurt get teleported to the back of your, your clump. Um, that I think is, this kind of reminds me of that. It's like every time I shoot him, the guy goes back <laughs> the guy goes a little further back, so I think that's kind of cool. Um, all right, here come our buddies. This time, I won't have my finger on voice mod. Let's just say that killed me. Yeah, yeah. The fact that I had my finger on voice mod is why I died. It wasn't, it wasn't because, ow. Okay, I need to stop pointing the camera at me. Okay, we got to go above these guys. And now he says burn. And the good news is that over there is, is on fire. So I push this button. I'm not sure why this hurts Bobertus. Um, so that's the only thing is he goes uh, he goes like this. No! Oh wait, no, that's wrong one. No! Right? And uh, and now I need to wait for water to come back there. I need to wait for the water to flow. Um, okay, now an unintended mechanic, or maybe an intended mechanic, if you're, if you might be a genius, uh, I would not have thought of this, is that if those guys linger in the water for too long, they turn into drowned and they come up here and they attack you. Um, so actually, I don't want that to happen because I don't want to lose my run here. So, oh no. This is actually really, did it not? I pressed it. Oh no. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, this is bad. Um, I'm going to win. I'm going to win, but I have to run away from these guys. Come on. Yay. Again, I don't know why um, destroying that skulk uh, uh, d d beats him, but... Still super fun, super funny. I love the the humor at the beginning. Um, I just thought like the poison potion, absolutely hilarious. So seriously, well done. Let's head back to the mods and see what they think. Do, 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 this is elevator music. Do, 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 going to multiplayer server. Do, do, 
Okay, mods! Ooh, not all the votes are in yet. There must be a lot of deliberation or a lot of slacking off. Oh no, there are signs. Oh gosh, what is this? Feed us! We'll mod! <laughs> no! Hey, don't listen to them! No! No, 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 no! <laughs> Feed you? You guys haven't even finished voting! Vote! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness all of that you know now now we're definitely these these mods i swear will will mod for pay on strike oh that's why he didn't vote well i don't want to hear it I, guys i i will pay you in in mm, uh love and appreciation on to the next one what the Heck, is, gr why is this, oh, <laughs> I still have a resource pack on. I was like, why is there a certificate of bartending from the Totally Real Bartending Institute in my inventory? Oh my goodness, that's so funny. Oh man, okay, let's get Red Dust out of here. Um, the resource pack, yes, you got me. <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, Grim, King of Night, and... I'm a little worried on this one um, because I I, uh, I actually this submission was a late submission, but I do allow it. Um, so here we go. We're going to go into that now. Mods, you all the best. I'm sorry I don't feed you. Actually, wait. I got it, guys. I got it. It's fine. It's all good. Here, here. Enjoy your floaties. Enjoy your floaties. Eat, eat this. There you go. And you know what? Actually, because just because, just because, okay, money, friends, okay, divvy that up, be nice, bye, okay, uh, okay, uh, so which one am I going to here, uh, king of the night, obviously, the one that has a giant text that says king of the night, so we have two bosses left, guys, so I hope you know, we are blowing through these, um, I'm just saying right now, super, super excited to play this one. I think what's really unique about this one, I have checked it out a little bit, is there is an entire class system. Like, this is a tank. This is the ranger. We have the berserker. And we have the alchemist. And this one's my favorite. The alchemist. And I didn't even know that this was the one to pick. But uh, I honestly, super, super, super cool. So I'm going to actually pick the alchemist because in any MMO that I've ever played, I'm always a mage or a healer. Um, I just that's kind of my personality is either I'm like a glass cannon or I am like a, a support character. I just love the concept of that. So what's really cool is if you click this sign, you get you get these effects. And I think that's really, really cool. So I've selected the alchemist. And what I think is awesome about the alchemist, I don't know the other roles, to be honest. Oh, uh, hang on. You fools really think you can defeat me? Believe? You don't even know who I am. Fine, have it your way. Prove your worth. Strike my minions down. Cool. And uh, and let's see here. I will get some epic... Mm, I don't think I can get epic music going. So, I'm sorry. We're going to have to... You guys are just going to have to listen to me babbling on because for some reason, Pretzel doesn't want to put the epic music on. That's fine. So this boss called the Drowned King. And what's cool about my class is I get a splash healing potion. Uh, what are my options on D&D? I haven't played enough D&D. Durd, Durd is the D&D guy here. So maybe Durd could put in the chat what he thinks my options would have been. Uh, I, I wish I played more D&D, to be honest. His own attack hits him. I did not know this. Did you guys see that? That's new. That's really cool. Um, I'll start, yeah, epic music in chat. Please sing all the epic music for me, please. Um, that would be, that would be wonderful. But I, you know what? I'll try something. Dun, 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 Actually, is that going to get me copyright? I don't even know, guys. Honestly, I don't know how to do YouTube. I have no idea what's going on. So let's talk about my class really quick. My class is... Oh, I wish I wish I could put up a shield when my trident's down. My class allows me to get a healing potion um, every so often. They just show up in my inventory. And what's cool about that is I can use it to also simultaneously attack the boss. So kind of like, you know, 4D four, four chest strat there. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I lost. 
<laughs> I'll try again. I'll try again. And I'll try a different class just so we can see what a different class looks like. Um, but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's do the Berserker class. Uh, Berserker class? Ranger class. I was told one of the classes was the least fun. I'll play Ranger next. All right, let's try it in the Ranger class here. I don't know anything about the Ranger class. I Okay, you fools, of course, naturally. Oh, I know who you are. I know. Hmm. It says on the world, uh, on the on the single player world title, actually. <clears throat> Prove your worth and strike down my minions. Okay. Um, so Ranger class, I assume, gets like arrows. Oh, it does a lot of damage too. Oh, that's super. Oh, wait. Ah, yes. Okay. I recover arrows periodically. Interesting. Yeah. And what's nice about having a sword is I can have the shield up. Ah, oh, this is a lot better. Because the problem with the last class is with a trident, at least, it doesn't seem like um, I can have a shield up at the same time as like having a trident selected in my main hand. And I'm not really sure why that is. Um, so, yeah, anyways. Also, if you guys can hear that, there's a really cool sound design going into this boss here. A totem has spawned. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it, don't, don't look. Everyone... Look away. Look away right now. Uh, let's see. Uh, resistance. We're going to do a 10,000 seconds at resistance 2. And nobody saw that. And we're going to go back to my favorite class. Because I, I love Alchemist. Cheat time! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! If I play, if I ever play Dark Souls with you guys, I, I won't cheat because I can't cheat. Um, so, so keep that in mind. Um, but when I can cheat, I might cheat. Okay, so Alchemist, I think, is a really cool class. I'm pretty sure that this guy, by the way, so the, the voice says, you know, fight my minions, right? Um, what does that mean? Is this guy not even the boss? I don't think so. And, and that's, I think, the, the intel that I'm going on right now, is this guy is one of the intermediate bosses. But let's talk a little bit about the, the design that's going into this one. So there are, you know, these particle... I don't know what to call them beams that go across the stage here that have that really cool i think that's um that that's the effect from the warden so and then these honestly are my favorite um the way that they come down from the sky and they also have that uh i should probably heal my gosh i uh, get some of this Jeez, even with my cheats i'm, I'm still bad <laughs> get this in your face a totem has spawned so the totems i believe make him invincible and, uh, and this is something, uh, this is a mechanic that I use in my Vilethorn fight, which I uh, shamelessly stole from Waterflow, so thank you for that. I'm sure it's a, a common mechanic, but still wasn't one I had seen before, so I thought that's pretty neat. Um, so let's get this guy down a little bit in health. Um, I'm kind of, you know, maybe now I'm just kind of spamming at him. Oh, jeez, nope. See, I still can die. It's still hard. Get a little bit of health on. And where did he go? A totem. We got to take those totems out. Anyone see it? I cannot see. Where the totem is. There he is. Hey, you! Get burned, buddy! So yeah, um, in general, I think this fight is super cool. It's one thing that it has um, that a lot of them don't have is a way for the player to heal. Uh, and then obviously the other one that is just so apparent is this whole class system. Because it makes me want to go back and play this multiple times. Oh, this is bad. Makes me want to go back and play it multiple times um, and try the different classes and see how it works. And I, and I love the way that you've kind of balanced and implemented the, the different classes and their mechanics. Also, apologies if you hear my dog. <laughs> um, am I still I'm just double checking? OK, good. I was worried I still had voice mod odds. So the other day I was doing I was actually doing a recording uh, for this boss video that's coming out Friday on all of these bosses. And um, I accidentally did a 45 minute clip. Uh, with one of those voices on. I think it was for Shadow. And uh, I, I, it was totally unusable because it was just me going, well, here we go. We're gonna... Here, I'll just do it because it hurts my voice. It was like, okay, guys, I'm super excited. Here we go. Like, I'm about to kill this boss. The entire thing. The whole clip was ruined. <laughs> oh, my dog. My dog's name is Bernie. Master Skeleton Ranger. And, uh, and Bernie is an Aussie doodle, which is kind of like a... Well, it's a poodle mixed with an Australian Shepherd. And he is super smart, and he's brown, and he is a an awesome dog. Um, I never have to apologize for a woofer. Oh, thanks. I guess I'm used to uh, I'm used to you know being on work calls and being like, sorry, my dog's barking because who knows what. Um, yeah. So skeleton ranger is yeah, that's a good good point there, Wither Max. Um, 
The name is interesting because I, I would have expected him to have range attacks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm in the air. I'm in the air. What's happening? I'm, I'm dying. Am I dead? Woo! Even with my cheats. This is tough. What is that? It's like a bullet hell. Did you guys see that? It's just the problem is that it murders me, but wow, that was really cool. I'll, I'll try to get another shot of it. Okay, I see more totems. Uh, no, they're gone. There's one. Okay, it's like a temporary totem almost. Yeah, got to take these guys out. We don't want them to give buffs. And let's see. Oh, okay. Got to pay attention to my health. Pay attention to my health. Oh, I think I might have hit that splash potion as I hit the ground. Look at that! Oh! If I had a potato PC, I'm pretty sure that would have just completely ended the stream. So I will be thankful that I don't... <gasps> no! Oh, man! Wow. Even, even with my cheats. I... All right. I gotta... I'm gonna do one more layer of cheating now. Because, you know, I mean, there are always more layers of cheating. Um, strength... Mm, see, you do 10. And that should, hopefully... Uh, maybe it'll we'll bump up the resistance. <laughs> okay. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, friends. Strength 250. No, I don't want to... I feel bad because because of Malkin's boss. I didn't realize that it was just going to... It was going to break it like that Um, because we missed one of his mechanics. Um, I can kill the king and ranger. Okay, maybe I'll... Yeah, that's great. Sure, why not? Uh, oh, but let's see. Kill... Nah, whatever. I'll just do... I'll do strength 10 and then I'll take the strength off. Um, resistance five, maybe if I'm if I'm feeling like it. This still seems somewhat balanced. I mean, no, it's not balanced at all. What am I talking about? It's not. What happens if I kill the drowned king with a totem up? I'll take care of the totem first. I don't want to mess with any kind of like logic that would that would yeah cause trouble there. All right, drowned king. Drowned king is done. Goodbye, sir. Oh, I should do that. What a waste of potential. No matter. You still have more to defeat. The Master Skeleton Ranger rises. And he prefers his axe. He he calls himself... Guys, this is actually brilliant. He calls himself a ranger. Well, one, because he has that bullet hell attack, which is really cool. But two, is because most people think he's going to range. But then he uses his axe. Think about that for a minute. Um, oh. <clears throat> How unfortunate. I suppose you want to know who I am. Grim. King of the night, and I shall strike you down right where you stand. What was that? Death Ray? Okay. Uh, wow, he's got a lot of health, too. I have, like, strength 10 right now. Man, this would have been hard. Luckily for me, I'm a cheater. That's... I'm super lucky for that, so... <laughs> oh, no. Guys, I play creative mode. No, cre so I recently did a poll... You guys know so many people responded like a hundred people um and the poll said you know what's your most common mode that you play in most people said creative so that makes me super happy um because i'm the same way i like building things uh okay so i'm seeing a lot of moves here i love this that's super cool like what happens if i touch that yeah it, it hurts me of course let's not die i just want to take a look at some of the mechanics grim minion all these different things going on you guys will see all of this in my video let's say goodbye to grim for a minute and here we are. We're winners, and I love this. This is so cool. So unique. That's what's so cool about all of these boss fights, is they are all so unique. Oh no, what's the special weapon? I guess I'll have to see it in the... You'll have to see it in the video. You're gonna have to see it in the video. I promise. I'll use it in the video, now that I know it's there. <laughs> okay, guys, we have one left. So let's go back and see the mods, and see how they felt about that fight. Mods! Hello! Is there going to be a picket line or something? No! All of the numbers are there! Wow! Thank you, mods! Okay. I agree with the first row. There wasn't really much there wasn't really much about the, the, the avid stuff, and that was a rule. That but still, look at those mechanics and look at that design. I agree with you, mods. I agree. That's super cool. So unique too. Nobody else did anything close to a class system seriously seriously so funny b props major props and a three three two on my gosh i can't remember the fairness and balance yeah that's fair um yeah I, i'm also bad at minecraft let's remember that on to guys i can't believe it i'm gonna like I, i'm kind of i'm kind of getting a little teary here like the fact that this is our last 
our last boss. I mean, before I get into this last boss, I just I just want to say first, thank you all for being here. I know that everyone's coming from different time zones. I know that everybody is, you know, it could be late for some of you. Waterflow, go to bed. I know it's late for you. <laughs> Central Europe, <laughs> man. But seriously, thank you guys so much for being here. The the mods, guys, give give the mods praise in the chat. They are the best. They are some of my best friends as well. Like I'm just super super thankful. They have been the ones to encourage they've the, been the ones to encourage me to do this after i made this quest that you see behind you um that's why you see this uh that's why you see this quest here it's kind of symbolic this was my first video my very first video i had no subscribers and i was showing off how to make spheres and circles and now here we are a month-long boss battle contest went on you guys put in like i can't even imagine the hours of effort that you all have put into this i am so impressed like it's weird to say proud but that is that is how i feel um so you guys if you aren't in my discord you totally should uh check it out because uh all of these amazing people are in there and they're giving advice on how to make this stuff mods change every score <laughs> don't listen to him he's a cheater guys by the way i said if waterflow wins he's banned from the server so that's uh just keep that in mind um <clears throat> why is this sheep here ah thanks <laughs> We are on to, and this is so cool, by the way, because this is how my video ends. The one that you're going to see on Friday, this is how my video ends, is with this boss, and because I felt like it was the best one to end with. Believe it or not. So, serendipity. I, that's a dispenser, guys. There's no randomizer. Or any, there, it's, I swear to you, that is that was just luck. That was just luck. So, anyways, I'm super excited about this boss. I just want to give a preface. This boss takes cutscenes to a whole new level. You have never seen cutscenes like this. So yeah, I am super excited. Uh, I'm gonna pronounce your name, I promise. Side Zen. I think I got it. Side Den, Side Den. I know you told me how to pronounce it. Let's go do it. Let's just go before I embarrass myself anymore. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we are going to head over to our very last boss, this spooky ghost. So cute too, I like him. And this one, like when you get into it, yeah, cutscenes, funny B, seriously, for people who have seen this, absurd, absolutely absurd. Um, yeah, you guys, you guys are gonna be blown away. I I was it's funny, for all of these bosses in this video on Friday, I was using replay mod to kind of enhance the experience. I didn't really have to do much for this one. So you'll see. Hello, thank you for taking on this quest. Hi, nice to meet you. As you may know, there has been a corruption in the area. Huh. I need you to go to a particular abandoned church near Vilethorn. <laughs> there is a rumor to be a gas around... I'm laughing so much. We're gas around there that causes people to hallucinate. I want you to investigate the church and see if you can find anything. Good luck! Villagers sound like that. I swear in my head they sound like that. Uh, so, so let's talk first. Entrance area. Beautiful. The music. As you hear it kind of coming in in the background, I think it's, I asked people to put it on ambient. Let's get a little bit of that music coming in. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Waterflow, you don't have to, like, you should, there's so much more, but no, don't even, you didn't have to do cutscenes. I think everybody took this challenge in a different way. And I'm so excited about that because everyone just went a completely different way. But yeah, here, so. Oh, uh, yes, I will credit, yes, uh, Waterflow picked custom music, but it's, uh, it's not, it won't get me in trouble. So this church, absolutely beautiful. Um, I just love it. I love how those little, you know, that little music is coming in. Um, and yeah, just super pretty. And basically my, my strategy or my instructions here were to investigate the church and see if I could find anything. So I, I kid you not, uh, I spent an embarrassing amount of time clicking all of these buttons and, and those levers. I was like, ah, there must be something, right? And then I came to the back of this church and it, it's just down here. It's just right here, obviously. <laughs> my one, my one thing. So you're, you have creative hands. You are in creative mode. And I bam, 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 bam. <laughs> oh, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I, I didn't find, it didn't take me too long, Sidesen. It didn't take me too long. But those stairs, 
we gotta talk. We gotta talk about those stairs in my head. The brain damage. <laughs> um, okay, this door also. Here we go. Hee -hee! I think that's done with armor stands. I've never done doors that go sideways. Um, so maybe if you can teach me, that's super cool. <laughs> Um, no, the stairs don't give me nightmares. It's not, it's seriously, I'm, I'm joking by the way. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you feel a cool breeze on the back of your neck. And for some reason you have an odd feeling of dread as we fall into this hole. Well, I guess here we go. The last boss guys. Hope you're ready. Oh, uh, right. Sorry. There's a loading screen. And if I'm in uh, F5, then you don't see it. <laughs> That's pretty cool, too. I actually, what, hey, what are you loading? <laughs> Just out of curiosity. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna take a sip of water here because my throat is starting to get a little hoarse. Mmm. <clears throat> yeah, um, after the stream sides in, you should totally put in the Discord how you did those do that door because I'm, I'm super impressed with that door. Um, but yeah, okay. So, all I do is I grab this sword here. And this sword's pretty cool. It's called the Devil Slayer. And it's uh, it has a similar mechanic to Water Flows. Um, basically, uh, Water Flows is if you sprinted, you would get a speed boost. This one is if you crouch. Um, I should get a speed boost. Maybe it's not on yet. Um, I think. Hopefully. When sneaking provides a small speed boost. Not sure. Interesting. Oh, maybe it's after the cutscene it works. Um, but yeah, the sword was super cool too. I like, I like the idea. I haven't done anything with right click detection and a lot of you guys did that. Um, so yeah, right. Water flow for you that you could dash without the sword. Yep. Um, I just love seeing like how all of you brought your mechanics in. Oh, I'm so sorry, by the way. Um, you will pay with your life. Uh, and, uh, and you have made a mistake coming here. I, I won't mess up the next, uh, cut <laughs> I was just looking, I was looking at chat. Okay, so um, this is really similar to my Vilethorn boss itself um, in, in the way that you get this holy sickle. And if these spiders will leave me alone for a moment, um, I can read the lore text on it says that it will break the yellow root matter. So we're not even in the boss yet. Um, another thing is there's this kind of white uh, trail that follows you around. Um, this will actually create a cobweb at your feet, slow you down, and I think that's pretty cool. I think it's a really neat mechanic to kind of stop players from just, you know, every other strategy that I've had is basically to fall backwards um, and, uh, you know, use that typical Minecraft mobs are dumb <laughs> strategy. So, anyways, that's a cool mechanic. Um, I'm stuck in a cobweb at the moment because it got me. But that's two roots, and once we get to the third root here... Uh, here we go. This is where things start to take off, and uh, I'm gonna get into... Alright, I'll just let you guys watch this, because there's nothing I can say other than that. Can you believe that this is vanilla Minecraft? These are just commands. I am completely blown away. Now enjoy the cutscene, because there's so much effort. I know what it's like to make cutscenes. And the effort that went into this is just unbelievable. And this isn't even the... this isn't even the last one. Controlling the angle of the head at different times as well. I will die many times in this fight, but it's a safe death fight. I just want to talk about that. Like, making cutscenes takes so much time. <laughs> I know, I got shushed. Hey, come on, I know. I, I won't talk through the next one, but I will talk as the boss in the next one. Um, this boss takes a completely different approach um, to how you damage the boss. You actually use that thing so what's doing is it's following me. It's tracing me around. It's gonna kill me in a second here. I'll just let it do that. You're gonna have to, we're gonna have to use that to uh, to swing it around into the boss. And this is kind of my first. I know I'm gushing, but this is kind of my first little like. Well, that's that's a little tough. I've tried. I've tried to find the right angle, the right way to kind of maneuver, and it seems to be a little finicky. So I just want to show you. But again, nitpicking, minor nitpicking. Um, I got him. You see that? I, I basically have to, at least my strategy has been, you basically kamikaze him, um, and that seems to work most of the time. Sometimes he doesn't get hit by it, but if we both get hit by it, that's generally the way that I get uh, the, uh, him to be damaged. So 
Um, let's see if he'll do it again. Yep. So I come around here. I'm like, ah, and it just missed me that time. So it blew up behind me. Um, and yeah, sides, and I don't know if you have any... The magma block is so hard to hit. It took me like 100 tries. Yeah, um, I... It, not a hundred, but definitely a good number of them for me. I'll let these guys kill me for a second. Um, and uh, and yeah, I agree with you. It's definitely tricky. And in the next phase, it's it's similar. It's a similar problem. Let's go. Come on. Did you throw it? I thought he was up in the air. It must have blown up on something else. So we have a lot of ads on the ground. So I got to take care of those spiders. Um, yeah, suicide attacks are the only way to beat the boss. I'm sure there's a way. You guys remember I'm a cheater, right? So, like, I'm gonna, f I'm a, la I'm, a, I'm a little lazy. I find, find things that you know work for me. Um, but here we go. So let's see. Get right in his face. Got him. Second time. That didn't kill me. Bare barely, but didn't kill me. Maybe I'll eat a steak. Maybe I'll actually, you know, survive. Let's just try that for once. Um, oh, sorry. What are ads on the ground? Um, ads is a term from, I think, League of Legends, I want to say. Basically, any, like, MoMA-style game where they are kind of like the fodder enemies. Like, there's a boss, and then there are these things that are around the boss that just, like, cause you general trouble. And I call them ads. It's just kind of the term. Um, so, yeah. Guys, just wait for what happens when we get him down to his next phase. Just wait. So, get, get yourself up in the air there, buddy. Come on. Get up. I know what you can do. Yeah, okay. Gotta run, 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 run. Right in your face. Yeah, I didn't die. I just did two in a row without dying. By the way, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet. This is vanilla Minecraft. Let the darkness flow through you, my disciple. Wreak havoc on the hero that stands in our way. It's amazing. It's amazing. This is so cool. Cannot believe, just can't imagine how long this took. I'm sorry, hero. And big step. I fell in the lava. Come on, <laughs> that was a fast death. Okay, so yeah, that's amazing. Um. Wow, just unreal. Oh, Waterflow, you going to bed? All right, I'll see you, dude. Um, maybe, I, I don't know if he said that. He must have been joking, right? It was like right in the middle of that cutscene. Uh, okay, so here, here are the challenges with this one. It's kind of the same strat as the first phase. He has an attack that you can use to kind of damage him. So there it is. Okay, hang on. I need to get out of this spider's butt for a second. Okay, so what you do is that eye blast attack um, if it hits a pillar, the pillar gets destroyed. And what we're trying to do here, there's a little bit of lore text that you may or may not have seen that says, hey, you need to get him down from the pillar. <laughs> I agree. I think there might have to be a six. Mods, that if it's up to you, you guys are, you know, doing the judgments, but if you want to, you know, give, give a little bit more on the visuals there or something, because that is, I, I will allow it if you give a higher ranking on the visuals for that, just because it went above and beyond. But we, I, you do need to then consider others like mechanics and things. So I don't know. Dirt, Dirt will probably say no, and, and uh, it has to be unanimous. So up, up to you guys if you guys are in a chat right now. Um, but okay, so here comes an eye blast. Just need to break this pillar here. Boom, that's two pillars down and two to go. Also, pig step, you, you have my heart with pig step. Oh, bye water flow. Thanks for st thanks for staying up so late. Um, okay, <laughs> out of his butt. Yeah, D dead will dirt. Oh, I missed up my chance because I got killed by this skeleton up there. These guys are jerks. Up on these side, 
Come on. And there's a Ravager. Just end me right now. Let's go. Okay. I duck. I get the speed boost. I haven't really been using that this fight. I need to get to the other side. I'm worried I'm actually already... I've already missed it. Nope. We're good. Come on. Do it. I blast. I blast. It's coming. Here it comes. Here we go. Yes. One more pillar to go. I'm doing all right, guys. I'm not even... I'm barely cheating on this one. Yeah, it's true. So you can't camp. Very smart. But I want to camp. <laughs> but yeah, it's very smart. Uh, message retracted. I don't even know what... Oh. Dirt. Dirt, what did you... Re okay. Uh... I've been trying... Um, I spent, like, probably an hour trying to get the... Not an hour. That's stupid. A long time. Um, trying to get the Ravager into the lava pool. Um... Here we go. Eye Blast is coming. Pig Step is over, which makes me sad. Uh, this is bad timing. Okay, I've also noticed on, from a timing perspective, just tank it, tank it! I did it. Oh, I missed it. Darn it. Okay, we'll get it, we'll get it. One pillar left. One pillar left on the final boss battle here, and we're going to see who reigns victorious. Oh, dirt will dirt. I now understand. Dirt will dirt. I trust him. He's very fair. Don't don't cross dirt, but when he dirt's on your side, life is good. Okay, I'm shutting up now. Unbelievable. It's all over now. Thank you, hero. <laughs> Thank you for that awesome boss fight. Also, I think there's a sign here that says shout out to Jordan. So thank you, Sidezen and Jordan, for this awesome cinematic experience. I mean, I, yeah, totally, totally blown away. So hi, Mr. Priest. He's invulnerable. I tried to hit him. I shouldn't have done that. I'm a bad person. Okay, back to the mods. <laughs> Yeah, guys, let's give a big shout out to Jordan there. I'm sure Jordan did a lot of on that if if he put that in the sign. Um, <laughs> that was a side quest. Uh, why is there an iceberg here, mods? Did the ice king was this the ice king? Yes. Wh whose head's on your head? Did you kill a warden while I was gone? What have you guys been up to? I, what is this book? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Django. Thanks, Dirt. All right, let's just take a look at this one here. So Dirt has decided there are no, uh, no sixes, which I, I or I maybe, I, I will say unanimously they have decided, they've come to a decision. Um, we, we're all engineers here, so we kind of stick to, stick to rules, very, very rule following, but I agree. Gosh, the visuals on that, unbelievable. Avid lore, four, four, and three. I think I can agree with that. I think there were some elements of avid lore, but overall it did follow its own kind of, you know, lore sidetrack there. Um, now let's see, uh, five for the aesthetics and design. And yeah, I mean, obviously that I, I make cutscenes. They are nothing like that. You have, you should make a YouTube channel of just Minecraft cutscenes. People would watch that. Seriously. Un unbelievable. Okay, moving on. Boss mechanics and complexity. I agree. Multi-phase. Um, Dirt. Dirt's like Dirt's like that one judge at the Olympics where it's like 10, 10, 10, 10, and then there's somebody over in the corner like 9.5. 9 definitely. Definitely 9.5. <laughs> but I, no, you gotta have you gotta have a dirt in your life, guys. Seriously. Um, okay. And then uh, and then finally, boss fairness and balance, four, four, four. And I do agree with that. I mean it's nice that it's a safe death, and so you can just keep trying and trying. But if I tried to zero death that, um, I, I don't know if I could do it, to be honest. So, wow. Just wow. Um, so I have in my hand right now a book of scores. 
And before I reveal these scores, I just want to say that if anyone wants to stick around after the stream, it'll be a little bit more of a casual thing. I'm going to play one of the bosses here, probably Al behind me. So if you guys just want to hang out and we can watch one more stream, because I know a lot of you are here, um, you're welcome to do that. So that that's that's it. That's all I'm going to say. Just kind of feel like I have to do that. All right, here we go. So we had eight boss battles today. Uh, and guys, unbelievable. Unbelievable. So the winner is the nameless one. But the runner up is the cursed priest. Then uh, let me just make sure I understand this here. And then these are just the scores with the runner up as the cursed priest. And actually, we're doing two runners up. So I'm going to have to make sure I get that one. Who's the second runner up mods? Hang on. <laughs> but yeah, water flow. Well done. I mean, you guys, when you see it back in, in the VOD, you know that that was unbelievable. Um, let me see here. Second, so let's see, 52 was the second place. I'll go through the scores. So Blackburn received a score of 44. Shadow had a score of 44 as well. And I think Shadow overall, mechanics, everything, I think there you see it, the lore and the, and the difficulty, but still mechanics, super awesome. Let's keep going. So Talos, um, that was the one on the video. You guys can watch it down below. The Nameless one hit every mark. I think the lore piece obviously was hit. Um, Vile Thorn, you know, Spartan boss. I think mechanics, definitely, I agree. Six different attacks. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Bobertus, I wish there was a humor score because I thought this was the funniest one. This one just had me had me laughing. I don't know why the Bart, the certificate made me laugh so much. Um, <laughs> Grim uh, with a 41. Yep, I would agree with that. And oh, and here, I'll just go through. Mechanics, 15. Balance, definitely was a little difficult. Followed its own lore track, which is still fine. Totally, you know, to, I, I had so much fun with it. And the Cursed Priest, I think that's that's going to be tough to beat from a cinematic standpoint. So I think what that means is the runner-up was the Cursed Priest, which I believe was, it says 51 here, but it says 52 there. So that means, who's next? 44, 54, uh, you have the scores. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, mods. That's cool. Uh, 48, I saw, I think it's Vilethorn. Yep. It's Vilethorn. So that is it. That is one, two, and three, you guys. So yeah, uh, I know I said Waterflow is going to be banned if he wins. I mean, I was kind of joking. But what that does mean is I think I might extend the offer to the next place as well. So he, since he's already on the server, if you guys don't, if you weren't here from the beginning, the winners of this challenge are going to be able to come onto the server, play a quest with me. We're going to hang out. Um, and that'll be on stream uh, probably in the next week or so. So third place, what is that? 44, 44, 42, 48, 38, 41, the Cursed Priest. Third place is a tie. So you both, yeah, Shadow and Blackburn, I believe. Um, yeah, fourth, it's technically fourth place. So we, we have a bunch of people coming out of the server. So, and I'll talk. Don't worry, we'll talk next challenge as I see that. When's the next challenge? We'll figure it out. I, I put a lot of thought into this stuff. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. But yeah, guys, amazing. You are all amazing, amazing. I am so talented. I just, I'm so talented. You are so talented. I am so proud. Thank you so much, mods. You guys are awesome. I'm going to go play at Evil AI Boss Fight to close out this stream. We'll talk a little bit. You guys can ask me some questions, whatever, whatever you want to ask me within, within reason. Um, and yeah, that is, that is the conclusion. So I'll say thank you, mods. And I love you. Thank you, mods. What is happening? Oh, there's you guys. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh. <laughs> mods. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that actually hurts. I'm at hurt. I'm laughing so much that it hurt. I still love you guys though. That was really fun. <laughs> okay, let's go down there. We're gonna fight Evil Al because I said in my description of this video I would fight at least one of my bosses. Um, though you know what's kind of funny is uh, I'm I'm a little uh, embarrassed now to to show you this because you guys one you've already seen it, but two is. Well, everybody's, everyone's were better than mine. 
So, <laughs> so, so I have a lot to live up to. But, uh, but here, let's go down. It's a little dark here, but we're gonna head down and we're gonna fight the evil AI. Uh, this boss uh, was kind of what inspired this whole competition. This whole, the whole idea of putting together boss fights in vanilla Minecraft without mods had me just so inspired to see if other people were out there who were like me. And yeah, I guess there are. So yeah, you guys, you guys can grade mine. I don't, I think I'd lose. Honestly, I'd lose. I'd super lose. Um, but this one, you guys, if you've seen it, you know, it's really fun. Basically the, uh, the little bit of lore here, it's important. <clears throat> so this is an underwater city. The e the AI that helped design the city was uh, was corrupted by the old one, um, who is an ancient and evil wizard. And uh, let's just get in there. Get me in. And what ended up happening is he was corrupted, and so he sensed this corruption in his code, and so he he decided to lock the whole city down. Um, yeah, fifteen points on Avid Lore. That's right. Those are some easy points. <laughs> So, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I definitely, I would lose. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, all of my quests here, they have these books. These books talk about the corrupted AI and what happened. And, yeah, it's this, this one day, you guys will be able to read all this, too. But here we go. So the AI has this dark magic corruption, and we have to rid him and free him of this corruption. So Al goes... Hello, world. Oh, I don't have the voice on right now, guys. I'm sorry. I have, like, an evil AI voice and everything. But, of course, you knew that already. You haven't come here to hurt me, have you? Because that wouldn't be very nice. S system corrupted. Oh, Avid, too. Don't, don't get me started on that name. You are so naive for coming here. And for that, you will die. <laughs> what floor is it going to be? So, phase one of this fight is the floor is lava. You guys have played that game. Um, you were you were five once. So we just have to... There's kind of a randomness to the floors uh, changing over. And then we have to fight these guys in order to kind of progress to the next part of it. Um, what happened to the first Avid? I I ate him. No, uh, they made an account seven years ago and were smart enough to, uh, to name themselves Avid. So one day, maybe I'll find them. I don't know if you guys know this. Mumbo Jumbo, he changed his name to Mumbo recently. He must have found the mumbo out there and uh, and asked for their name. So maybe one day when when I when I'm big. Yeah, right. Uh, I can I can ask Avid to give me their name, but they don't actually play. So we'll find out. Um, so I played this boss a bunch so I can read some of the chat here. Uh, pictured an old one sitting next to Al reading hacking for dummies. No, well, he just kind of made a portal at the bottom of the ocean floor um, that and and that kind of inadvertently corrupted Al. Um, there's a debate as to whether it was intentional or accident, uh, or intentional or accidental. Um, which one is it gonna be? No, that was close. I thought I just figured it was gonna be the same one. Um, Mumbo is just his alt account. Oh, I had no idea. Well then, I mean, Mumbo's OG too. He's been Mumbo Jumbo forever. I mean, I'm kind of coming late to the game here. Um, yeah, real avid, are you watching? Uh, you gotta be, right? Come on. Definitely, you're one of my, like, 1,000 subscribers, you promise? <laughs> okay, so this next part of the fight here, we're just gonna go up the side, and I'm going to fail at parkour for all of you, so I'm really sorry. I'm a cereal fan, but I don't eat every cereal. What does that mean? Oh, I'm sure it's an analogy to something. I'm amazing, by the way. I never make that jump. I never make that jump. Um... If Avid lost his account login, I think then I, I, I just have to live with the fact that I am Avid 2. And uh, and I can't even be Avid 1. Um, <clears throat> take a sip of water here. Mm. There's a lot of Avid lore. If you, uh, if you have the time, which most people do not, um, in my Discord, there's a whole channel that goes over Avid lore. Um, and it's just me posting in there uh, and linking my videos to that lore. And uh, it's it takes a long time. To, to get through. Maybe I could be Avid underscore. Tried that. Tried everything. Tried everything. Trust me. Avid MC, already taken. Tried that one. In fact, you know what? Now that I'm saying this, everyone who has smarter ideas are going to just take them, for, take them on me. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Malkin. You do not need to read that lore. I do not expect... I don't expect anyone to read that lore. Um, oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. 
<laughs> yeah, this phase is like the particle walls. Um, I thought this one was pretty cool. And this is what I meant by, you know, like it's a stage boss. You're not actually fighting, you know, an entity, an NPC. You're just trying to like survive this stage and then you interact. In this case, the, the lore is that we, <laughs> underscore avid, I believe is also taken. The lore of this is that uh, there these are reset buttons. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <gasps> I died. <laughs> we try again. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, um, underscore avid, none of them. None of them exist. Uh, it's an endurance fight, basically. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, to an extent, yes. Um, there, there are random, there's a bit of randomness to it, but there's also a bit of deterministic uh, components as well. Um, yeah, stage bosses. They're cool uh, because I think Minecraft is more uh, poised for them. Oh, great. Yeah, set my name to that. Yeah, and then that will break every JavaScript uh, web page known to man that doesn't sanitize their inputs. <laughs> um, yeah, stage bosses are great for Minecraft because they they allow they allow you to really use Minecraft's mechanics like parkour and you know pressing buttons. I feel like Minecraft mob AI is is one of its biggest limitations and and the combat mechanics. Um, those definitely hold it back. And so that's why making bosses is hard. <gasps> this part didn't reset. I'm bad. I did a bad thing. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, but yeah. I think it's really challenging to make a Minecraft boss, mainly mainly because of that. So when I made this one, I was just like, I don't know. I I think I don't know what I was thinking. I think just a lot was going through my head, a lot of like prior experience that I had. Though to be fair, I think I've always made stage bosses. Yeah, that's I really have. I'll show you I can show you guys some other ones too, um if you want to stick around. But oh gosh, oh no, 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 no. That was super close. Which one is it gonna be? <gasps> I'm dead. No! Woohoo! That was so close. You guys don't know how the timings on those are super tight. So I, I was certain I, I almost never make that. Um, so yeah, uh, I've always made stage bosses because when I started doing command block stuff, I didn't know anything about it. I was just kind of winging it. And Dirt and I were really the ones making command bosses together. So he and I made Copper Point together, um, which I showed off in episode 10, the whole thing basically. And that was a stage boss because we were just, I don't know, we didn't know what we were doing. Um, is it going to be this one or... Ah, I did it again! I hate being on the diagonal. Um, and Copper Point's cool. It's just an entirely parkour dungeon. Dirt. All hail the Dirt. Hey, guys, if Dirt is still in chat, you should put down in the chat if you want Dirt to, uh, to become a YouTuber. I've been trying to get him to do it. He just needs to get a microphone. He's, he's funny. You guys would like him. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... The, we made stage bosses together, and that's kind of where we learned how to do all of this stuff. And it's kind of where... Ah, the fence are open. I was ready for the next one. Um, Dirt MC. I don't, I don't know if he's still here, because I told him, like, I don't want to... He's on he's, he's on a different time zone as me, so shoot! Um, I don't want him to uh, have to stick around and watch me stream, because um, I, I respect his time. I'm talking. I'm not running. Okay, we can do this. We have to be perfect, though, is the problem. Now, we don't get a single chance to fail. I'm actually good at Minecraft! <laughs> nope. <laughs> Al's back. And those go back in. And we're back to phase one again. Okay. So, let's see. I can... Dirt plays Avid series. Yes, and he just, like... And, but he, like, sarcastically, like, critiques all of my stuff. It's just like, well, geez, this was lazy. This is low effort. I could see that. <laughs> oh, come on. Painful parkour? Yeah, it's true. It's true. Um, but that's a tough jump. That's a three block jump with a one block increase, um, which when you're under pressure, oof, that's tough. That's tough work. Um, oh, no, I'm dead. I'm not dead. I got the second jump in. That's right. Uh, set my hotkey to a key. Yeah, you guys, I'm a double tapper to sprint. How does that, does that make anybody upset with me? Because I'm sorry, but I do it. I, it's just how I've always done it. I don't know. Probably should eat. Double tapper. Yeah, if I, if I used control, I just, my brain isn't, my brain can't do that. Um, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot rewire decade of playing this game now. If I could, I would. 
No way. No way what? It upsets you that I double tap or that... Y do you not double tap, dude? Don't tell me you're not a double tapper. I'm a double tapper. You've been playing Minecraft as long as I have almost. Toggle sprint. That's smart. I feel like I would just be in the nether though and I'd like sprint off a bridge and die. Um, it upsets everybody. The whole chat, all of chat is just upset. They're just sick. Okay, watch this. Come on. Oh, I'm not gonna cheat my own boss, am I? No, I'm not gonna. I haven't spoken in 30 minutes. Well, thank you for speaking and uh, welcome back to the chat. Here we go. Focus. This is sad. <laughs> this is a sad day. <laughs> oh, man. All right. We got it this time. We got it this time. Maybe it's that you're all watching me. If you could just like, I mean, keep the stream on, of course. But like maybe when I do that jump, if you all just kind of turn away for a second, I think it's just having a lot of eyes is the problem. So, you know, we'll just we'll just pretend we'll just 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 give me just give me a second. <laughs> uh, let's see. I should have watched Legit Moose's parkour tutorial. Uh, on his three block Neo, or does he actually have like a full on tutorial? I haven't seen it. Because I know that that's a tough jump, but sometimes I can get it. I mean, I got it the first time. How long did it take to get the run for the video? How long did it take to get the run for the video? How do you mean? Oh, thanks for being here, Malkin. Yeah, no worries. All right. Guys, I'm gonna beat Al this time. He has a hard jump tutorial. I will have to check that. I didn't know he did like parkour tutorials, but I guess like I'm kind of new to the command block YouTuber scene. So I, I haven't really been like, I guess I've kind of intentionally not been watching videos because I don't want to feel like I'm stealing content. Like I kind of want to come up with my own stuff, which tends to be, ends up being kind of stupid when I come up with ideas, but I, I, I would prefer it that way. Um, <laughs> why dirt to not dirt? Yeah, it, he has the same problem as me. My gosh, like we're just, it's hard nowadays. I mean, this is real first word pro world problem, but it's like every single name is taken. Um, yeah, it's funny, this is gonna date me, uh, but <clears throat> I used to have AIM, you know, AOL Instant Messenger, kind of, uh, I was really cool. Uh, and I I was so frustrated that the, that so many names were taken that my name was too many were taken. Um, so that's, but people thought it was like a reference to like combat, I guess. And so I, I, I got a lot of flack for that because they're like, oh, I didn't know you were like worried about like soldiers and stuff. And I was like, no, 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 no. I meant like too many names were taken. Um, so anyways, <laughs> uh, system power. Yes, okay. All right, guys, I can do it. I've seen all the moose videos. Oh, nice. All right, here we go. Yeah, Moose is awesome. I would love to, so I'm so sorry, chat. I'm so sorry. Moose is awesome. Um, if you guys, yeah, look away, look away. If you guys don't know, I'm uh, I'm going to start doing this series called uh, Voices of Minecraft. I hate this. I'm gonna get it. Wait for good, what just happened? <laughs> oh no, I put, my, I put my trident on there. Oh, I got it back. Hey, nobody saw that, right? <laughs> Thanks, dude. I love you, dude. <laughs> um, yeah, nobody saw that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do this thing called Voices of Minecraft. I'm a cheater, but there, I, I didn't let it happen. I will not cheat on my own boss. I'll cheat on your bosses. Let's just pretend that I, I intentionally threw myself into that. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, I'm doing a thing on Voices of Minecraft. Basically, I'm gonna interview some people who are in like kind of the data pack, command block space. Um, you've probably seen them floating around my chat a little bit. Trog was here a little earlier. Um, also, uh, Devin's Desk, who uh, has made the true vanilla um, um, a data pack. Super awesome. Trog, if you guys didn't know, is the creator of Skyblock 4. So pretty much anyone who's playing Skyblock now is playing that. And uh, I'll be talking to him on Thursday of this week. And we're gonna do a little stream. We're gonna play some of these quests together. Um, and uh, and yeah, we're just gonna have a lot of fun. So, oh no, we're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm gonna talk to, it's, it's gonna be less um, like formal, I guess, if that's a way to put it. It's gonna be just kind of like, not an interview, but you know, people who are fans of them, um, you know, and I know they have a lot of fans. Um, understandable, 
Thank you. I think I think understandable is good. Um, but yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be interviewing uh, these guys just to get an idea, or guys and girls, hopefully, um, of like who they are. Because you know, especially at a channel of my size, there are there isn't that much content up there of me. I don't stream. This is my first stream ever, so I hope it's going well. Um, but you know, I want to get to know these people better, these creators who are in a similar space, and I have a feeling maybe you guys do too. So we're gonna play adventures on the server. Um, this server, and uh, I'm gonna ask them questions about themselves. Like, what got you into, you know, Minecraft? What got you into Skyblock? Like, tell me, you know, how much are you willing to share about yourself and who you are IRL, things like that. And I think you guys are gonna really appreciate just, oh no, I'm dead. How much goes into, I'm not dead, because I'm a genius. I'm dead. <laughs> I think, you know, you guys, um, Think about how much goes into making these videos and how much goes into how much thought goes into making content um <laughs> tip for the next stream be good at parkour it's not gonna happen <laughs> um but anyways yeah just get an idea of these people so we have trog on thursday creator skyblock 4 devin's desk is going to be next friday uh and uh, devin has the most booming and milky sounding voice of all time um so you guys get ready for that as well there are, there are a bunch of people here watching me. <laughs> I now realize. SB Django, Event Horizon, Dirt 2, and Avid 2 are all in spectator mode. That's great. Um, so I have even more eyes on me as I flounder through this boss fight, which I'm usually pretty good at. I'll be honest. I'm usually pretty good at it. Push him into the lava. Ah, oh, dang. Okay. So, but fortunately, this part's kind of relaxing, so I can uh, look at chat, see what you guys are talking about. First stream, gang. Yeah, first stream, gang. It's awesome. It's been a good one. I mean, honestly, you know, I, I, I feel a little spoiled in that I had all of these really talented people from literally across the world creating content like, or creating this boss that then I could turn into content. Um, you guys, like, it's all props to you guys, seriously. So, you know, while, yes, thank you, like, I think the stream did go amazingly i really appreciate that it's not over yet i just gotta beat this boss <laughs> if i ever do um but uh but yeah i mean it's all, all thanks to you guys seriously so yeah first stream gang let's see okay and i promise i have to pay pay who the mods <laughs> the mods are paid with love all love um i don't know what particles are around me yeah, stream went amazing. It's all thanks to the mods. I'm pretty sure. The, the thing is, I mean, the mods kind of just sat around in their pool toys, and then they went on strike for a minute, and then they blew up everything. So I don't know. If I were to leave a Yelp review. Come on. No, don't let me cheat. You let me cheat. And I died. <laughs> thanks for trying, dude. No, I got it. I'll get it. I promise. Probably. What is this? Uh, is there like particles around me? It's just a client side thing. Um, Morris. Yeah. For those of you who haven't seen um, my my most recent video, there's been this kind of uh, I don't want to say a cult um, following around uh, the Morris, the Morrises. Um, you guys should definitely check it out. Uh, but basically, the Morrises. Uh, are a bunch of cat head guys who bore an interdimensional tunnel for me. Um, so yeah, and it's it's really cool. It actually, I am so happy with how that tunnel came out. Boris did the boring, yes. Floris did the flooring, and the Morrises did the mooring. Um, the, the more the more stuff, and we actually did that on a uh, on a secret, I guess secret secret stream in my Discord. Um, so that was actually pretty fun. And it's kind of where I, I decided, you know, hey, want to start streaming. I want to start having you guys, you know, have time to talk to you guys. Um, the florist. Yeah, so let's see. Come on, what do we got next? This. Come on. That. I think it is one of these two. Okay, we're good. If I could end on this platform, I would get... I missed him? Really? Um, if I could end on this platform, I would legitimately get three attempts at that parkour jump. I really should follow Legit Moose's uh, tutorial, though, it sounds like. Warris. What would Warris was? Is he at war? Oh, Warris, Warris, you need to calm down. 
You need to settle down, Boris. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, the trident went through his head. I saw that too. Please, no. Which one? That one. Whoo! I hate dying to lava. Um, if you see particles around me, I am not cheating. See? No effects. It's a client side thing right now. I will beat this fight legit. Usually I beat it first try. So, uh, you know, either I am tactically extending the stream um, to, to keep interest, which would be very, very, very smart of me, but I'm not that smart. Um, I'm actually just very bad at parkour. So, uh, all right, guys, hold your breath. Hold your breath. Impossible. I wonder if on, I wonder if, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blame lag. I'm not gonna say it, I'm not gonna say it. Here's what we're gonna do. I can get to that last platform, no problem. Hey, no, I refuse, dirt. Ah, oh, okay, fine, do it. <laughs> Hurry. He didn't, he, oh no. Can I hit that button? No. Dang it. Well, I didn't accept cheating, guys. I hope you're proud of me. I cheated on all of your boss fights. Uh, for those who are just joining, if you are just joining, um, we basically had a boss fight stream today. Um, we are currently playing one of my bosses, which is significantly less, uh, or is very inferior to some of the bosses that we saw today. Um, there's going to be a VOD uh, posted to my second channel, Avid MC Jr., which right now has a, or at least before this video, had a whopping 12 subscribers. So, uh, you know, definitely go check out the Junior. He doesn't have any content of of meaning or it's basically just where I'm going to post my VODs for now. Um, there's some stuff there just because I was just playing around. Um, yeah, check that out. And then also all of the bosses that were featured today, and I'm so excited about this, are going to be in a video um, on <laughs> second channel, Avid3. Uh, av yeah, right. <laughs> Avid3. I can't get a break. Avid3 is actually taken, believe it or not. Avid2 was not taken. All of Avid's up to like 10, I believe, are taken. So... Uh, yeah, it's 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 tough, um, and that legitimately. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, the VOD is going to be posted to my second channel, and then I'm making a video that's going to come out this Friday on uh, all of the bosses that we saw today. But we're going to do kind of like a trading card style uh, video. I'm still going to fight them. It's going to be a, uh, an edited kind of cut up clip of me fighting them. But I do like these epic intros. And, uh, and I go through each of their moves and their mechanics, and I talk a little bit about my strategies. Um, so you guys, I think it's, it's definitely a different video than what you saw today. So if you saw this stream, uh, you know. Okay, shh. <gasps> I'm sorry if I hurt your ears, but yeah. That was my first try. Oh, I should probably hit the button before he, uh, yeah, it resets. Oh, maybe I'll just really let the time sink in. Do I do it? I do it. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Woohoo! Guys, are you proud of me? I really hope so. I I need it. I need it for this next part. <laughs> I still have the other side to do. The other side. Ah, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. If I actually get to it, you'll see why the other side is easier. Significantly. Um, so boop, 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 up and over. Okay, we got one coming from that side. And I don't see any others yet. Get vaporized. I don't know where get... Okay, vapor wall, I believe, comes from the front. Okay. I don't want to be too quiet, but, uh, yeah, I, I do want to focus. I don't want to let you guys down on this boss here. But basically, uh, this is my, yeah, my corrupted AI boss fight. It was kind of... It is the reason my channel exists. Um, I created this video. Uh, I decided, you know, hey, this was something that I really wanted to do, and it kind of inspired, it inspired this entire stream. So, you know, that's, this, this boss has a lot of significance to me. I'm getting cornered. Please no. Oh, guys, that was so close. You don't even realize how close we were to death just now. Now check this out. Check this out. Here we go. I don't want to let you guys down, and I'm not going to have to because of that. Yeah million iq move right there yeah so okay uh i gotta press this button let me just eat something i don't have to so i guess it's just instinct i gotta float down to the center and this part 
is the third phase. And this phase is deterministic. So every other uh, part of this fight was random. Um, I decided when I was building this boss that eh, I guess I would just uh, make everything, you know, deterministic for the third phase. Not because I was lazy, but kind of because I was lazy. Uh, but also because I just thought it would be kind of more interesting to, um, to yeah, to basically just... Oh, hang on, I'm just trying to focus for a second. This is bad. This is really bad. I don't want to die on this phase. Okay, <laughs> I wanted to make the last part deterministic because I just thought it would be it would be fun for me to kind of create like this scripted. That's the word I was looking for, a scripted challenge. So this part, you have to jump between these tiny pools. I hope I don't disappoint you. Uh, that side goes. And now we only have three pools to work with. We have particle walls coming towards us in that direction. And we are going to have to hop over them. Oh, we don't want to overshoot. And now we got these guys who try to take a dip in the hot tub. And I have to, unfortunately, end their hot tub, their hot tub run. Those guys, they fall in the lava. First time it happened, I was surprised. Now it's every time. I'm like, oh, geez, they're not very intimidating. But we'll pretend it was, uh, we'll pretend that it's intentional mechanics. And it's kind of like a humor thing, you know? We'll go with that. Clear the water. You clear the water. Oh, no. All right. So do I, do I win? Probably. Could I lose? Certainly. Definitely. But we'll see. If I can do this trident throw, uh, I'll give myself a golden apple here. That's kind of what it's for, is for this very last throw. <sighs> Deep breaths, everybody. Yee! We won! <laughs> I did it. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Noodles, you saw my channel through your recommended. That's awesome. That's so That's so cool. Yeah, I'm, I think this, you know, I'm so happy with how this video went. I actually beat a boss. Um, so I'm super excited about that. And I think all the mods kind of stuck around or yeah, I think they're in here. Yeah, they're still on. They're just in spectator mode. I bet you if they're in the walls or around me, I could turn them all into adventure mode really quick and they'd all splat on the ground. What do you think? Can I get them quickly? Oh, I missed my chance. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> that would have been fun to see all my friends just like in the walls. <laughs> I don't want to say suffocating, but that would be, yeah. Yay, we won. So let's talk a little bit about some of the stuff here. So every time the players win, they get this pristine water gra grapple, which is an amazing trident. Um, they get this currency, which is called cowrie, and they get these fried circuits. Now, what are the fried circuits for, you ask? Well, once you beat the quest, oh, actually, just before that, because... Yes, I am. I am inferior to all of the bosses that I showed today. I will wholly admit my bosses don't even come close. But what I do want to show you is that I don't use data packs. And so what that means is this is that boss. It is a giant complex command room that uses redstone and AND gates and a mumbo jumbo randomizer here. I am literally using redstone randomizers to control command block bosses. Um, and not to toot my own horn, which I don't like to do. I really, I don't. Um, but that, it's, and also not to give a reason as to why my boss is definitively worse than every other boss that you saw today. But at least I feel a little better that I showed you, uh, I showed you what's going on there. So one last thing I'll show you since, since we have a bunch of people on and I really appreciate all you guys. Um, I'll just show you really quickly. So once you beat the quest, you unlock this submarine. And uh, if you guys have played RuneScape, I've been heavily inspired by RuneScape just in my life in general and making things. And so I believe that fast travel systems, having them be an unlockable is a really cool idea. And so this is a submarine that can take you to a lot of points in the world to itself. It can go to Crescent Bay, which is another boss that I'll show you guys in another video, probably one time this week. But we're going to go off to the arena for a second, and I'll show you what we do with this fried circuit. Here we go! Setting a vector for the arena. Obviously, we are still inside the submarine, so we don't really know what's going on. Um, I think I featured this submarine in my structure blocks video, by the way, too. It's a pretty pretty cool design, um, heavily inspired by something else that I found. I probably should link the creator piranhas in the water. So we are here at the arena, and I'm gonna do a little little cheat real quick, just because there's no real way to get to the citadel from where I was, but it was kind of fun to show that fast travel. So this is where, this is where all of our quests are. Where, oh, I, that was a bad idea. Survival, okay. Uh, I want spectator so I can schloop in there. 
and then we'll go into we'll go into it. So this is the quest hub. This is where all the quests are granted, and the deep quest is actually upstairs after the library. So the first four quests here are Copper Point, Ebon Glade, which is here. It's a two-player puzzle dungeon. We have Cloud's Rest, which is an adventure on the server, and we also have Crescent Bay. I don't know why I picked that order. I passed right by this guy. Um, and so uh, what we need to do is I need to... I don't have the key. So once you beat all four quests, you get a key that unlocks this section here, and we are going to go up into that area. And this is the library. And what's really cool about this is I sprinkle lore books everywhere on the server, and this library contains all of those lore books, and they sell them for this currency called Trey. Trey is the currency of the Citadel. Um, and so, uh, <laughs> thanks, I'm a command block warrior. Thank you. I think it's it's more of a, 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 I was not smart enough to learn data packs, and so I refused. Um, but hey, Dirt. Uh, the Citadel here uh, is basically where players can, um, yeah, get their quests and also get all this lore. But the tray is the currency of this land, but it's not the currency of the deep. The deep has cowrie as their currency. So there are exchanges all throughout the server, and the exchange rates vary based on what favors that, you know, that civilization. But uh, here we can trade 18 cowrie for just one tray. So you get two tray out of that whole thing, which means to buy books, quite expensive. Um, and this guy, especially the knowledge bearer, he has a back rooms key. Oh, I should have put the real back rooms in here. This was before I knew what those were. Um, somebody introduced me to them. Uh, player of MC, a good friend of mine too, uh, introduced me to them. But anyways, so we're going to go up the quest up here. And basically, not only do you unlock the library when you beat the first four quests, but you also unlock the second layer of quests. And here we have... Uh, thanks for respecting my command blocks. Yeah, it's, <laughs> thank you, Noodles, too. Um, this area, obviously not totally complete. I'm still, everything's a work in progress. I want four quests up here. But here we have, uh, this guy's for the deep. So you can trade in fr fried circuits for a netherite ingot. So that, you know, if you're a survival player and you want to get a netherite ingot, there you have it. Or you can get the magic mirror. And, uh, how do I, does anyone have a magic mirror on them? Now, uh, are, uh, anybody? Hello? Anybody? No? Okay. <laughs> Let me know. Um, but uh, this is the Vilethorn quest here. So Vilethorn, um, here, and they all have dialogue. Uh, Rosewood. I think you mean Vilethorn. There is no Rosewood. No more Rosewood. <laughs> My own dialogue, I'm getting wrong. You really don't want to go there. If you insist, though, uh, uh, if you insist, though, in order to travel... You'll need a tower fragment from Cassius Isle. And you get a compass that points to the origination point of the quest. And so I have been working on this adventure map slash adventure server for a year and a half plus. Um, I'm like maybe halfway, but I want to get there. And so that's that's when YouTube all started, started to build out these guys. Um, so yeah, this, this is what you take those quest items. Uh, you take those quest items and you buy this really interesting armor. Some of it has special abilities. And uh, and down below, the, the quest givers also do the same thing. So anyways, the magic mirror is pretty cool. I don't have one on me. And I don't know if SB Django or uh, Tidal Disruption, if either of you guys have a, a one um, in your ender chests. Because um, typically, yeah, Oak Flakes and Cobblestone. Are you in survival, uh, uh, Bear Town, or are you are you in creative? Um, real questions. I'm gonna come down to the base area, and if you guys have a magic mirror, I just love to show off. If you don't, if it's in your Ender chest or something, magic mirror, can I has? And if not, I know where I can get one. Um, I know where I can get one. Do 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 do. do. I also, when making these, I have massive spreadsheets. So many spreadsheets trying to keep track of all of the different quest items, all of the different lore. And in this case, I'm going to grab... Okay, I'm coming back now. I have my cheaty give command. All right, the magic mirror. Oh, I beat you to it. I need to be in adventure mode. Oh, that's right. It doesn't work. Adventure donut. Uh, hold on a second. 
Latry style. Um, for those of you who are up to speed on the lore, you'll know exactly what this is. Uh, it's basically the uh, spawn area, spawn point, and uh, shops. So we have kind of you know some of this stuff here all around. Um, and and Latry Isle is uh, just across the bay from something called Cassia Isle. And the idea here is that there were two brothers that came to these islands in search of a cure for a an illness that had befallen their mother. And when they got to these islands, they they stayed here. They 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 were entranced. They were they were under some kind of spell. And that's kind of the whole the whole lore that started this is I found this seed in 1.17 with these amazing two islands right next to each other that were wildly different. We have this craggy island over here that's like menacing and, and inhabited by SB Django. He's uh he lives here in his pirate cove. His theme is like he's a pirate, which is really cool. And then we have this beautiful kind of flower forest island. Unfortunately, the Ice King, who's with us, Event Horizon, um, he he covered this in uh, in snow, um, and uh, and he made this satellite up here that was like this freeze beam. And so uh, nobody's cleaned this up yet. Um, kind of still disappointed with him, but you know he's the Ice King after all. <laughs> So, so yeah, this is kind of my main spawn town. Um, for those of you who are joining, hi, welcome. We did a bunch of boss fights today. Um, we did eight boss fights, and it was genuinely, honestly, I was blown away. We did a couple of boss fights of my own, and I see that, you know, a lot of you are still here. So if you want, we could do one more quick one together, I think. Um, we'll do my very first quest, which I just showed off in my <laughs> So Much Disappointment Dirt, come on. Um, load. Too many people online. Um, so my very first quest that Dirt and I made together. We'll do that. And that's that's kind of the right way to cap off. This is actually Bear Town. It's all parkour. I hope you're ready. Flubber, 80 subs? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. That is that is super awesome of you. Um, aha, follow the smoke. We are almost here. I failed on my bo uh, no, no. I'm I did I recorded a whole video pretending to be live. Well, I wasn't pretending. I was recording a segment um while doing this boss. First thing I'm going to do, clear my inventory. I don't need any of that junk. Hi Doodlebug. Um and my hearts are down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my spawn here. And then I'm going to just just kind of take care of that while I take a look at some comments and drink a little bit of water. Mm. Mm. I think I'm still on fire. Well, that's... How does this go out? Is this a client-side thing? Must be, right? Don't worry about that. Chat messages. I want them verified. <laughs> um, no, you're not weird for playing hardcore. You're super awesome. Flubber, I will remember you. I don't think I will get... 10K subs is very ambitious, but I will remember you. I will remember a name like Flubber. <laughs> oh, no. Be nice, Bear Town. Um, all right, <clears throat> so watch me be really good at parkour, everybody. Um, so this is a boss. This is one of my dungeons that uh, Brand... Uh, sorry, Dirt and I... I almost... I don't want to... Sorry, Dirt. Uh, made in real life. Um, and, uh, and this was way back, a year and a half ago, um, that we made this quest. So let's see if I can just... You kind of do this, that, I'm good. I am good at parkour. Don't listen to what anybody says. And then, yoop, this, jump, I died. Uh, it's not gonna be like this. It's not, that's the only death, I promise. <laughs> so we're gonna head down into this one again. I promise, I promise, I promise. So the lore, let's talk about the lore of, of this one. It's hard, it's hard to stream and do it at the same time, I will admit. Um, I'm so happy I could have helped you with command blocks. Uh, <laughs> toggle sprint, I will never. Uh, so the lore of this one was kind of funny because I hadn't really thought about the, the big picture, but basically there was copper that was falling from the sky. And it was making these massive craters. If I, if I explored around the grounds outside, you'd see these craters of copper smoking and smoldering. Um, and this copper 
Well, uh, people were, you know, obviously very afraid of why copper was falling from the sky and creating these massive craters. And some even say that a, an entire ship made of copper uh, fell from the sky. Oh! An entire ship made of copper fell from the sky, landed on the ground. And there's a sunken ship out there that's made entirely of copper. And, um, and so naturally that's going to attract... I can't believe I touched that lava. Naturally, let me wait for this. Naturally, that's going to attract people who are entrepreneurial. And so, no, this is death. This is death three then. Um, I can't believe I'm still on fire. Are you serious? Okay. So this guy, this young, young boy by the name of Elias, uh, decided to come to Copper Point to make his riches. And the... Obviously, you know, it's very dangerous copper falling from the sky. What what on earth could that be? Um, and now it's just me falling off of platforms. Um, and so Avid comes to Copper Point. He marvels at Copper Point, you know, but then he sees the islands off in the distance. And he is so entranced by their beauty that he doesn't realize that an entire copper lighthouse is falling from the sky, and it in, a, in an instant, it crushes Elias under the copper lighthouse. And Elias is what we assume is, is, is dead. But, or wait, actually, I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> That's as much as you're allowed to know at this point. But then, actually, no, I can tell you a little more. But then we see some messages. Perhaps there's a switch somewhere. Oh, wait, that's not from Elias. Oh, hi. Yeah, help me out. I'm dying a lot. Set your spawn. Um, he wants me to watch over something. Elias. Who's he? The players don't know who the old one is yet. So, you know, players are just like, what is... I can't believe I... <laughs> that one gets me every time. Oh, I'm gonna win. Yeah! Woohoo! Come get me. Um... He said, this could all be mine. The copper, the greed, right? That's the story of it, is the greed brought him here and the old one uses the greed to keep him here. Ha <laughs> ha. Here we go, here we go. I'm a certified parkour. Oh, I didn't realize that wasn't out. I was looking at chat. I blame chat. That's <laughs> dude over. So his greed kept, kept him here. He wants me to watch over something, right? Here we go. I'm good. You guys see that? You saw that. Hello. Uh, okay. One, two. I'm good at parkour. I'm good at parkour. I'm good at parkour. I'm good. Oh, this is a really bad. Yeah. Yeah. That guy. <laughs> Who's counting on deaths here? Seven deadly sins. Um, kind of. Uh, that's a cool idea. I, I definitely have <clears throat> used, I guess, the concepts in the in seven, you know, gl gluttony, greed, all those kind of things. I like I like the idea of that. There's a bit of that, um, but I'm not sure. Okay, I'm good at parkour. Did you guys know I'm good at parkour? Watch this. I'm a 360 no scope. Yeah, you got nervous there, didn't you? Here's a little hack. Okay, this is where things get a little interesting. Oh. Survive! 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 No! The bed is right there to the left! Oh! I'm very good at parkour, in case you don't know. <laughs> this is technically a boss fight. I know this stream is which boss will win. There is a boss fight. I, I was saying, so we are just doing the Al boss, the evil AI Al boss fight. And Al, uh, you know, is an arena boss. So at the end, this is the first boss that Dirt and I made together, and we created an arena boss. And I'll, I'll show you guys how this one kind of works. It's cool. It's really cool. Um, it's all parkour based. So I try to like come up with a theme for the dungeon, like, who just did that? No! That is seriously rude, dude. Oh, okay. All right, so there's a theme for each boss. The first one, parkour. Not very, uh, not a very creative theme, but it was my first one. Give me a break. Um, and, uh, aha! Hi! Oh, he's already got a shield. Good. So, arena boss. What does that mean? Um, let me actually do 
mm, do this because I want I want health and I don't want to have to die and reset the whole thing. Okay, arena boss. So this one is pretty cool. Let's check it out. So the way this boss works is this is the Chamber of Elias, and this quest was heavily inspired by Amnesia the Dark Descent, though you probably wouldn't even have guessed based on the aesthetics or the lore or any of it. Um, but I like one of the puzzles in, in Amnesia is uh, players have to like find these uh, pipes that they need to, um, or these like knobs that they turn to fill up a chamber filled with water. So I like that idea. So this chamber here, uh, I'll say, hang on, I'll take clock wall. Clock wall's hard. So, and I'm so good at parkour, so that's why I'm gonna take it. Um, so anyways, yeah, Amnesia the Dark Descent, you have these like buttons that you need to go find and it fills up uh, a chamber. Yes, there's a Discord server. Um, I believe it's in the description of this video. And if it's not, then check any of my videos. I have an up-to-date link it is forever and uh you can always uh you can always join <gasps> that was bad ah sp django fell in lava though take it django all right um yeah the dark descent amnesia the dark descent uh if you are afraid of the dark um and of scary things don't play it it's a game that came out um, i want to say 20 2011 maybe 2012 um and it is a uh, it's up there as one of the, I would say, best horror games of all time, maybe. Yeah, I'm good at parkour. Um, yeah, if you played it, you you might remember it, just because it's it's genuinely the most terrifying game you will ever play. Okay, so here's what's really cool about this boss. So we just kind of released one of the valves. Hey, bud, good to see ya. Um, and now we uh, it opens up kind of a valve to kind of block the pipe, right? And the idea is like we're gonna create all of this pressure. For some reason, all the you know all the pipes are being opened or closed or something like that. Oh, I played that game and I can't remember. I'm so sorry. I streamer brain, total streamer brain moment. I just killed myself. <laughs> it's all right. Um, let's see. So, anyways, that's that's one obstacle. Um, let's go to do this next one over here. So yeah, Amnesia Dark Descent played that. Um, yeah, Markiplier had a really good playthrough of it. It's scary. That game is super spooky. Um, I played. A, I like a lot of horror games to an extent. I can't play them for very long, but uh, I really, I really do appreciate them. Hee <laughs> Bye. Ow. So this is the other obstacle here. Uh, he should come back. Oh, he died anyways. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm good at parkour. Um, yeah, Amnesia, super good game. Um, and then, so yeah, basically what happens is as you open up each of these valves, <laughs> everyone's burning to death, it, uh, it releases these blazes. Um, am I ever going to try a horror quest? Hmm. Dungeon challenge, red dust. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. I would just want to be careful that there isn't like a boss to it because I don't want it to be too similar to this challenge. Um, but I do really like that idea. Eighth death. Thanks for keeping track. <laughs> uh, why is there just fire here? Did somebody just put this here? Why is there fire here? That's, that seems unreason. Why is that on fire? Hang on, I'm sorry. That shouldn't be there. That's weird. Did you hit that one? Oh, he did. He got it. Okay. Yeah, this one you just go inside this pillar here, and then you uh, you click the button. Okay. Heading down, heading down. Okay, so there's one left. It's the clock wall, which is everybody's least favorite. Um, and you guys have already seen it. So, get so uh, no, I, I was just going to say, guess what? I'm going to cheat, and I'm not going to cheat. I'm going to do it right. Oh, I almost died. That was really close. Uh... I could play your adventure map. I, I am very time poor. Uh, so as a lot of people here know, you know, I'm a, I'm a software engineer full time. Um, so it's it's definitely it takes a lot of uh, energy for me to even be able to like in time to get a video put together. Um, yeah, Blaze, Minecraft Kitty. Yeah, so there are blazes that are inside of these pillars. Oh, no. Did somebody reset it? <sighs> OK, that's fine. We'll get it. 
The interior design of this is, let's just say it was my first quest and we'll leave it at that. Um, like, but I tried to lorify that by saying um, that there was like this copper anomaly. Thanks, dude. Uh, and that's, you take it as it is. My favorite programming language right now is Go, uh, Golang. Um, followed closely by TypeScript, which is basically just JavaScript, but Microsoft made it better. Um, why the Blackstone Cores Plants, dude? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure I was in the car when I made this part. Um, I really wanted the quest to come out for the weekend when I was releasing the server for my friends. Dirt. <laughs> Dirt is helping me not cheat, but he's still pressing every button. Um, gotta watch out. Aha! The shield! It did something. Um, I have to be so careful. <gasps> no! <laughs> One more try. Um, I was on a laptop tethered to my Minecraft kitty. I was tethered to my cell phone when I made the, when I finished up this quest. Let's take all four sides. Someone dies, uh, stay in a small room. And of course I say, let's take all four sides and no one takes the clock wall. Ninth, <laughs> Lucas, you got me again. Uh, the stream might go for three hours. Maybe, I don't even know what time we're at right now. My, my voice is getting a little sore. Um, so I think once I beat this, we'll see if I actually can, <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah, uh, C Sharp, I really like C Sharp too. C Sharp's probably up there. Um, Python, I, I have I have some complaints. Um, mainly because Python for making like real, you know, products that are deployed, um, I have I have trouble wrapping my head around it. Mainly for maintainability purposes. And and I know there's some people down there who are very good at Python. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Horizon. He's on fire. Um, but uh, Python for me, I just, I wish it was, this is going to probably get too much for people, but I just wish that the typing system uh, was more uh, a part of the language, which is kind of the whole point of why Python is so easy to pick up, though, is you don't have to worry about all that extra stuff. Did y'all see that? <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, the Copper Throne. Okay, so now what has happened is that Elias has returned to the Copper Throne. There he is. Guys, remember, it's my first boss that I ever made uh, over... I, I learned a lot after this one, but here we go. We're going to release the lava that we just built up all the pressure for, and here he goes, Elias. Oh, Minecraft Kitty, congrats on beating your, your Ender Dragon. Um, that is it. <laughs> That's the quest. It's, it's, it's a little baby quest, but it was the start of everything, and... It was the start of all of these awesome friends coming together to make this. So, guys, I want to thank you again so much for being a part of this stream. My voice is totally shot, uh, if you can't tell. So, I'm going to end it here. The VOD is going to be on my second channel, Avid MC Jr. It has, like, two subscribers. Go be the third subscriber. Actually, it has, like, 12. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, I will... I will be contacting all of the winners um, and runner-ups to play with me uh, on the server. We're going to do a quest together. It's going to be super fun on stream. Look out for this episode coming out on Friday. It's going to be completely different. Cut up, Pokemon-style version of all the bosses. Um, and then finally, uh, last thing is I'm going to be interviewing Dr. Trog, Devin's Desk, and more. So if there's any creators you want me to talk to, let me know. But guys, thank you so much for being here. You are all so amazing, so, so awesome, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye!